Hey y'all. I'm not I wasn't even on my phone. I was on my computer. And usually be my phone going out. My Wi-Fi is something going on with my Wi-Fi in my house. I need to get I need to keep on get it checked out. My son be having problems with it, but he not here, so he not even on his TV nothing. So I don't know what's going on with my Wi-Fi. So it wasn't even my phone. That was my computer. Come on back. Come on back so I can apologize, y'all. I'm sorry. Still not working. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Come on back. Hey, I, I don't know. All oh, this dang on glitter. I don't know. It was that's not. It wasn't even my phone. It was my computer. My computer. My internet in my house is something going on with it. Now I'm on my phone, which is my. I got internet on my phone, so hopefully it don't go off on my phone. But my internet is something going on with my internet in my house. That was my computer. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry about the. Sorry about that, y'all. Went fro. My froze. My computer. My internet. I'm wrong with it. Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit while longer. We got 46 people here. Let me see a thumbs up. If you're here and you can hear me, thumbs up on the top of your page. Hey, Chris, Charlotte, Charlotte. Let me check up your name. I'm going to make this video short because I'm hungry. I'm going to get something to eat so I can get my stuff together. So I can do my little, my stuff I got to do. I got no order. I got one order to do, but I'm going to procrastinate and do some fun stuff. Hey, Tanisha. Hey, Ruth. Hey, Trina. You can hear me? Thumbs up on the screen, on the top of your screen. Like this video, please. Like this video. The, my phone went, I mean, my computer went, my internet went out. So now I'm on my phone. Oh, it did. Cool. So let me, she said she was notified when the video came up. Good. So if you're not notified, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that red bell so you can be notified when I do new videos. And she was notified. Subscribe, 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 and be notified. I'm hungry, y'all. I just love this purple. I got these from Etsy, and they're cute. Somebody said they don't, they don't be cute. These is cute. But I'm going to use these for samples so I can show my little shirts off. Put my little mannequin. Do I made me one already? I made me a red and white one. They they probably still over there on the other, on the other side. Nope, only got fifty one people here. You was notified too. Hey, thanks for coming. Hey hey hey. So y'all was on the other live, or this is your first first time coming? Because we just I was just on a live like 45 minutes and my phone my computer went off so now we back we basically starting off where we left off at i showed y'all all the stuff that i have got from hobby lobby i had ribbon and stuff did y'all see that or y'all just y'all just came y'all just got there five few minutes ago and y'all just y'all first time here tonight okay cool cool okay cool okay some of y'all was first so i'm okay cool so y'all, if y'all missed it, we was basically it's my second time coming on here because my phone went, my computer went, my internet went out. So I just showed y'all my haul from um, Hobby Lobby. I had ribbon and faux leather. I showed y'all some um, my cups that I got from Joanne Fabric. They was they're half off now, but today they half off the Cricut mugs. And um, I'm gonna show y'all what's in. I got two my box. I got a bag of stuff to show y'all, and I got a box to show y'all. And I'm gonna show y'all. I was gonna show y'all the rest of these two too. So I got the gold one. I got the purple one. These are cute, y'all. And they wasn't that expensive. I forgot how much they were, but they came quick. They came quick. And they're really good. They're really, um, really nice. They don't look cheap at all. And the smell is gone. The smell is not there anymore, so. I keep it real. It must have been in that packaging or whatever. This pink is cute, too. I like the way it's sewn. It's so cute. I want to learn how to do this, too. Just have the ribbon on the top and the ribbon on the bottom. This like it's hard. How y'all? How they do this part right here? Oh, they probably. Oh, okay. This is okay. They just put the. I don't know. 
I don't know, but I want to learn how to do that too. I want to just rip it on top and the bottom. It looks so much, much cuter. It looks so cute, cute. I bought some purple thread. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, it was in that. It was bad. I don't want to lose my thread. Let's see what I did with it. Let's see. I bought some of this thread because I was out of thread, so I had to get this so I can get abused. Do these boot these little things tonight. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna show y'all again. I'm gonna do these tonight. This one right here. With the, I'm gonna use this fabric also in this fabric. I'm gonna do these. Basically, this is my first time. Uh, this is my second time. The first one I goofed up, but this one I did it right. I'm gonna do these. These are diaper covers for my, my boutique. And I'm gonna also do some shorts, some some baby, some infant shorts. I found that um I found the um I just found the um Oh, where did I find that um that pattern from on Etsy? I thought. Oh no, I found the free pattern on YouTube. I got downloaded. Okay, seventy five people. We had like a hundred or something. They they went to go get they, they didn't come back. Let me just go ahead and get done with this video because I got things to do. I'm hungry. I want to take a nap because <laughs> y'all know I take nap late nap then I be up all night. So I haven't had my nap today. So today I went to this um. Somebody, this lady, that she got, she owned her own boutique here in Toledo, and she called me. Well, she, one of my friends or my family member told me that she was looking for somebody to come and talk to their girls about um, branding their business and stuff. So I'm there today. So let me go ahead and get on live since I'm all dressed and stuff and cute a little bit. Let me go ahead and get on live when I got home. So yeah, I went there and talked to them about branding and you know the things that I went through as far as like I got my own daycare center. I've been doing that for ten years. Talk about branding. I, I mean, I'm an author. I got two boutiques. On Etsy, um, I'm just you know trying to tell them about the things I went through. Like I said, even though you had a bad path, you know, but not too a, a rough past growing up, a, a rough childhood like I did, you can still go ahead and do your thing. You know, don't, don't nobody stop you. And basically, I just promote entrepreneurship. I just want people to be you know entrepreneurs and be successful and get that money. So just you know, you know, just letting know promotion is the key. You gotta promote. You gotta promote. You gotta be professional. You gotta know your goal. You gotta know your um, what you, what your um, what's, what's, I, got, I had a whole rundown. So I was telling them about. You gotta know your brand. You gotta know what you want. What your customers want. You gotta see, know who you um, your beliefs, your goals, all that good stuff. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I just went there and talked to him about some stuff. I wrote. I, I wrote everything down because I can't remember all that stuff that I said, but I wrote everything down so I can remember so I can stay on key. But I know with promotion, about branding, about um just being professional, uh keep using your voice, you know what I'm saying, to give it to, you know, to get your stuff out there. Okay, this is from um AJ Blanks, y'all. AJ Blanks. Oh, this is the um I got some onesies from her t-shirts for her but like i said i'm opening my um i'm launching my boutique i want to make sure everything is ready to go these are so cute and they're so nice this is for embroidery and you got the snaps right here but i'm trying to find the t-shirts with the um snaps down the back that's what i'm trying to find because it's better to do that with embroidery but let me know when y'all get those from i gotta find those i seen somebody on there and i asked them where they got it from they didn't want to tell me but i'm trying to find the ones with the snaps down the back so i can open them up while i'm doing still got my single needle because my other machine ain't here yet oh y'all know i'm mad this has been a whole month. I called them on Friday. They're like, well, let's, that, they, we'll let you know when we get when we hear about it, if it went on a truck or whatever. It's not even on a truck yet. That means it's not even coming to me yet. Like, y'all tripping, tripping. Like, I need my embroidery machine. I've been waiting a whole month. Shoot. Now I'm irritated. Now I'm mad. So I got a lot of onesies. Um, I thought I bought some puff with the puff on there. Let me see I like the little puff sleeve shirts. I can't even see y'all comments, y'all. I'm on my phone. Let me see. So if y'all ask me questions, I can't see nothing right now. Oh, thank you, Nasi. Hi, Beverly. She said she found me yesterday and she loved me. Thank you. Thank you for um, watching. I don't know how to put y'all. I guess it's going to pop up when y'all start talking, but I don't, I don't see the news feed or anything. Oh, there it is. Woo. There. Now I see him. Okay, now I can't see my face. I got so many messages on here. Aw, thank you, Melba. Where you go? Come on, now come back. Come back. Come back. 
So yeah, I, I have I like talking I like speaking to young young women. They was all they were all young and the girl that owned the beauty shop, she was younger, she was young too. So I was like, you know, I told her graduate congratulations and she doing her thing, got a beauty shop going on, but she called me up there, they called me and I talked to them for about an hour or whatever about branding and stuff and trying to get them promoting stuff and how I told them how I when I was um write my when I first started writing my books, I was going around across town, I mean going different states on a bus, okay? Because I wanted to promote my books and I every time I went somewhere I sold out on books. I went to every book fair out of town. I was in New York, I went to Chicago, I went to I went all over the place. Memphis. Every time I was a book fair, I was on that bus <laughs> and I was selling out on my books. So you gotta promote your business, get out there, know your audience so you can be able to cater to your audience, know they know they um what their dislikes is, what they what they what they goals are so you can be able to give what they you give them what they want. You gotta give what they want, what they really, really want. Oh, here are the puff ones right here. These are so cute. Um, use your voice and um you know, just everything. Know your beliefs, know what you stand for, because if you don't know what you stand for, you ain't you're gonna fall for anything. And I was just telling them how I um these is cute. I started off um, low income apartments, and I had started. I had two little kids in my daycare for my low in, low income apartment. It was my cousin kids. I was watching her kids, her two kids, low income apartments. And I bought my house, and then I had like uh, I, had, I was my, I had I was over four. I had so many kids in my house. Then I had bought found me a building, and everything worked out. And I've been doing. I've been in my building for four years now, but I was been doing daycare for like ten years altogether. Low income to a building, but God. Hey, hey, hey. So, yep, this is all from um, AJ Blanks. So, I'm getting all my blanks together. I got all my little containers so I can throw them in there. I bought me a couple. I went to Big Lots today and got me a can a container so I can put some more. A bigger container because the other one, it was too small. I'm just throwing them in the container so I can have everything situated. All my kids' stuff in one area. All my adult shirts in one area. and Everything is all... You know, all put together nicely. Then my beer room, if y'all been following me, my beer room upstairs, the beer room I was um, in before I came to the basement, this little small beer room I came in, that started with, now I took some up there. Now up there is going to be basically where I do all my glitter tumblers and my, my roller, my um, tumbler um, spinners and stuff going to be up there. And then everything I'm taking out to my little um, pop-up shop is going to be up there too. So Because I'm going to room for that nothing down here. So the table over there right now with my, my, my um, oh my God. With my machine going, I still gotta get my table too. I still gotta give me another stand for my uh, my new machine coming. I'm gonna put that there because that's where that's where my um tumblers were, my tumblers, my rollers, all that stuff was there when I was doing my crystal like I do crystal like I don't do epoxy. So now I gotta put that upstairs because I got a room down here. And then I'm gonna put like all my my because when I go out when I go out to do my um pop up shop, y'all had to buy me a ram. I had to buy me a ram trunk. I love my Ram, but I needed a truck. I had an SUV, but I had no room for all my stuff that I would take it to these shops, girl. So if you go on your own business, you can write that off. Write that off. Write that off on your income tax. Write that off. So I bought me a new truck, 2020. Right? I wrote it off. So now I got me somewhere to put all my stuff in. So I got my little containers. And I put I got me a little wagon. It's, it's, I mean, I got it from Amazon. It's a wagon you can pull and stack of your stink so I can be able to don't be carrying everything. So you gotta do these business. You got if you got a business, you gotta get everything situated so you can be comfortable when you go going to places and getting your making that money. I got me a sign. I got me a tablecloth. So get, if y'all gonna do pop ups this summer, get y'all a tablecloth. Get y'all a sign with y'all business on it. Get y'all um, a little rolling thing so y'all don't have to be carrying all that stuff. Get y'all some nice containers so y'all can look presentable when y'all walk up in there. You come up in there with them paper, paper, um, them boxes and stuff, paper, um, brown boxes and stuff. Get y'all some containers and stuff. Get y'all some bags you can roll. Like I got a couple bags. I put stuff in. I can roll it with the little like a suitcase or whatever. Be professional. Get it. Um. Check out my videos. I have videos to show y'all how my tables look at my my pop up. I had tables to show. I mean, videos to show y'all how I look at my um kiosk. I was in the mall. So yeah, and everything y'all buy, you can write it off on your um if you got your business and stuff, your LLC and your um I E I N number. And all that stuff, y'all get it. If you're trying to make it as a business or just crafting, that's cool. But if you want trying to get a business, get your stuff together. Get your paperwork together. Get your um vendor your vendor's license and stuff. Get that stuff together. Get your business insurance. Like, we had to have our um, vendor's license and business insurance. These pop-ups or whatever. We got to be professional. We got to have it. Might as well get it now so you can have it. Be ready. She ready. What is this? Who is this from? More AJ Blanks. Oh, I spent a lot of money on AJ Blanks. <laughs> she took all my money. Oh, I got some more puff shirts. Because when, before, she was out of stuff. So let me go ahead and get stuff while she got it. <laughs> I got more shirts. Thank. Oh, I got some pink shirts. 
put the puff on there. The puff, I love these puff things. The, the puff sleeves, I said puff things. So I got some more shirts. And I just really, I just want to stay, I'm probably going to 4T and 4T. I might just go up to 4T because I don't want to make anything bigger than 4T. So that's what I say now. But if they, if they want me to personalize it, I'll personalize it for them. So yep, there's more, there's a whole lot of shirts in here, y'all. There's more shirts, pink and white. Um, from AJ Blanks, Angela, Jasmina. She's on YouTube. I follow, I mean, I started doing, I, who did I start following? I, follow, I started following her and Baby Booty. They're the first two people I've seen doing embroidery, and I loved it. Now, Angela, she got like 20 machines. <laughs> but I was, I seen her when she, she had first started. Well, it's not been that long. I know she had one of the machines when I first started following her. But, she, um, but yeah, I got a lot of, I got two packages from Angela. This is my third package from Angela this week, okay? I think I got another one coming. I just want to be ready, y'all. I want to be ready, ready, okay? So when people start selling out, so coming to my site and, and, selling, and buying all this stuff, and if I had they, they, they size. And that's one thing I, I, I hate, well, not hate, but I dislike about doing t-shirts like this, um, like I do, t I started off doing t-shirts. I love, I started off doing vinyl. Now I do sublimation. Man, I got so many t-shirts in here. It's a shame because I always, when I, I stock up when it's on, when it's going on sale or whatever. But then every time somebody asks me for a size, I don't ever have it. So I got to order more. Like, why can't y'all ask for the sizes I already have? <laughs> I got all kind of 5Xs and 4Xs, but nobody ain't trying to buy them. But when I first didn't have them, they wanted them. Like, you ain't got no 4X? You no, I ain't got no 4X. Right, I'm going to get some. Now I got them. Nobody want them. It's like, uh. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Linda. I mean, Daddy. I can't see my phone too short. So, I mean, that's all I have today for y'all as far as shopping. That's enough, ain't it? So now I'm just trying to organize. Let me show y'all what I got going on here. I did some stuff, y'all. I did some stuff. Um, I got this container from um Big Lots. I just threw my shirts in here. I got this one too. For big lots i got that one over there it's empty so yeah remember that last video i had it was a mess over there wasn't it i cleaned up a little bit y'all put all my my stabilizer and stuff in that big container all my stabilizer my heat heat and bond all my little stuff is in there now so it's all in there i got a real big uh tube because the um stabilizer was too big that the rolls was too big to fit in those small containers so i got me a big one that one right there that's my big baby right there I got stuff up there. Um, it's got And I also made. Did I make a video on that? Oh, I made a video, but I didn't put it out yet. Oh man, I, I, I didn't want to tell y'all. I forgot to um edit it. But I made some backdrops. These are the panties. I, I mean, these are not the panties. They look like panties though. But these are the baby things. I messed up the first time I threw these away. I messed. I was practicing. And I messed it up. But I made a, a backdrop. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all how I made this. I got a video. I got just gotta edit it. Edit it. Okay. Let me show y'all a 360 of my craft from like I always do. Don't look at the flow because my vacuum cleaner is broke. I gotta get it clean, fixed so I can vacuum this dog on carpet. That's all it is is paper and, and uh, thread everywhere. Um, but yeah, there's my heat presses. I have the 15. Everybody wanna ask? I know they're gonna ask. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. 15 by 15, and then the 16 by 24 slide out by um heat press nation. Over here is my ironing board. I usually have all my stuff here ready to get packaged and stuff for my orders to go. Um, I have all my stuff out here for packaging. My envelopes, my um labels, my cards that I put in the, the boxes or whatever. My this little plastic I put my shirts in. Here's my thank you cards I put in. All this is stuff my store, my stuff, just the little pack, the patch that I say about my patches, fragile thing. I got the little thank you stickers right here. Everything got, I put everything right here. I just took out like 20 orders um, this morning. I took it to the post office this morning. And I had it all set up there. My labels and stuff right here. Little um, and all my little everything is over here for packaging. But then I got a lot of boxes and stuff too in my my, my closet. But yeah, right here, I got some stuff I'm doing. I'm, I, I got it set up for my embroidery. I'm doing some more samples. So it's all set up for me to go. I just got to um, get the images to put on the thing. And then these are the little um, things I'm going to be putting on my um, embroidery too to match the fabric that I'm about to do tonight. There's my tutu I made, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. I made my first tutu. I'm going to put a bow on here. Oh, it's so cute, but that glitter everywhere. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's all glitter just came off of there. I'm, ugh, I don't like that glitter. It's too much. I do. This is what I use for my tumblers. Convection number. And here's my four machines. One, two, three, four. And I wait for my big one to come. My machines. But I'll show y'all this every time I come on. But I got newbies on here. So I'm going to show them what I have going on here. A lot going on. So these are my, my printers right here. My um, uh, sublimation printer. Pigment printer. I got my um, Cricut Maker. Cricut Explorer. And I got my Cameo. I used it like twice for some videos. And that was it. And all that back there, mm-hmm. It look a mess, but it's not. It's organized. I just over 
feel things like right here this container i'm about to fall over bags okay this container is full of fabric i just bought i gotta put it fold it up and put it away out where i want to but i had that's why i bought this container for that because i don't have no more room it's too much fabric in there it's like my all my stuff for my blankets and stuff and those are teddy bears and stuff i just got from this store i showed y'all about that one those is all teddy bears and stuff that i'm gonna be embroidering on and that corner right there right there right there I gotta get that. That's all stuff. It's not on the floor, y'all. Not on the floor. It's put up nicely. It's clean. I just gotta organize that stuff. That's why I got this container. You see that container right there? <laughs> it's waiting to be full. It's ready to be filled up, y'all. Ready to be filled. I bought it, so I just gotta come down here and organize all that stuff. These is all these containers right here is all t-shirts, y'all. One, two, three. Three t-shirts full of three things full of t-shirts. You see right here it says sub two three X. And those are kids shirts. Then that one right there is some more shirts. And this big one right here is all sweatshirts, y'all. <sighs> Can somebody please buy some stuff <laughs> instead of asking me to get another size? These are t-shirts, too. All these are t-shirts, y'all. They're all organized in different sizes. All the sizes are written on there. This is all my other craft stuff I got going on. But, yeah. Everything is organized and situated. I just have to put stuff up like this right here. All this stuff behind. All this stuff along this wall. Well, this little... It's got to be put up, okay? But it's off the floor. I'm not nasty. I get it together. I just got to get it together, together. That's, these should be coming back in season. These come from Walmart. You can sublimate on these. These should be coming back in season, okay? They come back they come back in the springtime. These should be coming back too. But I got these all from last season, okay? I do the games, the Uno games, and the card games. I got masks on my site. If y'all need some masks, I got a, a blank mask, sublimation bags, mask. I do hats and embroidery. I do all of these large shirts. I got a lot of cricket shirts. They was, they was on sale. I got those stacked up. Um, I got all this mesh when I was doing a, um, uh, Afro Divas. Matter of fact, I got one for my mother. She don't know I got it for her. This one right here for her. I made that for my mother. She kind of tilted. Let me fix her face. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. I got. I ain't got her hung up right. But this for my mother. She's for her birthday. She don't know I'm getting her birthday is on Mother's Day. Well, May 13th. So, um, I'm get, I got my, I made my grandmother one. I made my grandmother Obama a Michelle Obama one, and she was mad because she didn't get one. I'm like, girl, it ain't your birthday. Why you mad? Okay. So that's what I have. Like I said, I've been organizing a little bit more. If y'all see this from the last video, it's a little bit more organized. But like I said, nothing on the floor. Everything is put up nicely. And, and I'm just trying to get... I got more containers today, so I'm going to end up doing some more organizing now that I got them containers. You know, so things don't have to be piled up on top of each other. And then on this side of the room, I didn't show y'all... This side, I have all my kids' stuff that I just started, okay? These is all Easter bunnies that I got. These are all infant stuff. This is all blankets and stuff I was going to make. More t-shirts and them, them are towels and stuff that I could do, like personalized towels for kids and stuff. And they like hanging towels. You can hang them up. And this is all my samples that I've made already. This is the, the blanket I made for my son. I'm so proud of this blanket, y'all. So I did the blankets. I done did masks. I done did little uh, bloomers. I'm, I'm learning how to do them sewing machine, y'all. I'm learning. These are the bowls I've been making. So these are all my samples I put in this box so they can be, I can show people. I mean, I'm going to put on my website. I took pictures of everything already. For my, my backdrop I just got, I made that. So I'm going to put everything up. I put them nice and stuff with some jeans and stuff. I propped everything up. So it's coming soon. I took the pictures already. I just got to put it all on my, um, on, my, on my Etsy page and put the description and everything on there and get the prices on there and stuff. So it's coming soon, y'all. It's coming soon. These are all my samples. All put away. She's so cute. So, yep. So, everything is put up nicely. And what else I'm about to show y'all? Oh, these are all the boxes I have that I was doing them games and stuff with that I got from Michael's. Stocking the stack up on them so we can have them for like different games and different holidays and stuff. So, I got, I got everything. I got stuff everywhere. But, um, and this is all the. <laughs> This is all the stuff right here I'm going to be using for applique and stuff. So this is all right here for me so I can be able to use it and look for applique stuff for embroidery. So I got all that stuff. How do you hoop a baby hat? You have let it float. You float it. You, I float my baby hats. I did this for my, that was for my granddaughter. Did y'all see the hat? She must have seen it. She said that. Oh, yeah. Is it in here? What did I do? Oh, I thought she must have saw it. Oh, I did this hat. I, um... I did that. I don't know why that's in here, but I have because it's a sample. I just put it in there so it won't get messed up nowhere. Oh, here's the baby hat. My, my granddaughter. She would have been one February 28th. So this is for her. The store is named after her. 
And um, I'm doing this because I was going to make all her clothes for her. But I can't make her clothes for her because she's in heaven. But I'm going to make the clothes for the kids here on earth. Because I bought all this stuff. All this embroidery machines. All these sewing machines. I bought to make all her clothes. I know y'all tired of hearing my story. But I'm just telling y'all the newbies. Um, I'm hungry, hungry. That's all I have today, y'all. So let me see. This is this. I ain't never been on um, live this short of a time. Usually I'll be on here for two or three hours. So go ahead and give some thumbs up, please. I got 121 people here. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. I'm about to go make these. I'm about to go eat something. Probably take me a short little hour nap. And I'm going to do some more of these. I can't wait to do these. I'm so geeked about this. I made, like I said, I made two of them and I messed up on them. This is my third pair, y'all, and I got it right. I'm telling you, I watch videos over and over again. And they be so confused. Like someone be like, so confused. Like everybody do something different. They do it different. So I had to make sure I got the right technique so I won't mess it up. So this is my third pair. And a third pair is a charm, girl. This does a charm, girl. I got the last girl. Last time I had the last was too thick. The elastic was too thick. It was just a mess. And then the other one right here, I, I basically sewed in the elastic so it wasn't stretchy. I was tearing up some fabric. But I said, it's cool because this one is good. This one is Gucci. I'm going to make some this one. I'm going to make this one. I'm going to make this one. And I already cut the fabric out, girl. I'm ready. I said, let me get this stuff together so I can be able to, so I'm going to have no excuses. So I'm going to be procrastinating about nothing. I got them right here, y'all. Got my, my, um, Gotta, you know, you gotta do it this, this you gotta turn it this way. But y'all got them all cut out. You know, you gotta turn, flip it this way to press it. So I got them all ready. I got that one ready. I got that one ready. And I got this one ready. I was gonna do some stars too for, for um, 4th of July. People saying they, people buying 4th of July stuff already. But I was like, I'm gonna wait. I'm probably gonna wait to do the stars. I'm gonna use these right here for some shorts for boys and for girls. I got this from Hobby Lobby. No, I got this from Joanne's. I was gonna do these for some shorts, and then I'm gonna cut the, cut it out and put an applique on the shirt. That'd be a cute little Fourth of July outfit. But and somebody was saying, I think it was uh who was that? Alicia said she was um if y'all know about Alicia, she has a, a um an embroidery page on here on Facebook, teaching crafty. Don't give me the oh I, I wrote it down so I won't forget. Some of the people that I follow here on Facebook, I wrote it down. So I got bad memory. But yeah, she said she um selling not selling already her little Fortress Light outfits. I'm like, cool, it's only it's only it's April. You selling? I'm like, I'm go ahead and start making some Fortress Light outfits. So I got um that for that little outfit I'm gonna make. So yeah, I follow um her name is uh, Alicia, the soul crafting teacher. Go check her out, she's so sweet. Also, I also follow Shayna. She been rocking with me. She I've been seeing her all my life. Thank you, Shayna, for watching my videos. I just start follow I just start following both of these ladies this month. I just found out about them on, I don't know where I found them out. I'll be watching everybody's video. I follow uh, my um, Alexa Galloway. She has a Facebook group. Check her out. I follow, uh, of course, uh, Angela Jasmina. Uh, little, I mean, little baby's booty. This is all about embroidery. All these ladies do embroidery. So if you got a, who got an embroidery machine? Let me see your thumbs up. Let me see your thumbs up. Let me see your hearts. Can y'all like this video, please? I got 113 watchers. I got 69 likes. Can you put some thumbs up for me? Like this video. I appreciate y'all. No, thumbs up in the, uh, like the video. Like the video. Y'all put the thumbs up in the comments. Like the video. I appreciate it. You want one what? An embroidery machine? Oh, y'all oh, put a thumbs up for the embroidery machine. I'm sorry. Everybody got embroidery machines? Cool. That is so much fun. It is so much fun. I love my embroidery machine. I, I be having all, all, I have all three on run at the same time. Like I said, I just did some patches yesterday. I had like three patches. No, I had four patches I had to do last night, and I, uh, I shipped them off this morning. I did two Kobe Bryans, and I did um, the vice president. I did hers. I did two of her, and then somebody wanted two of her and two of Kobe. So I did those last night, got them out this morning. And what else? I had some masks. People wanted some masks. Um, blank face masks. I got them on my site too. Check me out. Charming Gal Boutique 2. All one word. Charming Gal Boutique 2. Number one. Number two. The number two. And my other um page is coming up. It's called Array of Sunshine, the Children Boutique, in, in honor of my granddaughter. Yes, honey, I'm going to do more. I have some more. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. 
embroidery videos I've embroidered on jean jackets, on hats, on sweatshirts. I, I did applique. I did um, key fobs, key chains. I did a lot of stuff on that. On, on, I got a lot of embroidery. Um, I bought the sewing machine you just bought. What machine, what sewing machine you just get? Please don't tell me you got the one. I, cause this is the one I, I don't like it. You didn't get the brother, um, the brother SM 2700, did you? Because I'm going to let you know. Don't get it. I don't like it. Yes, I own the Cameo Studio um, Silhouette. I don't use it because it's, it's, I like Cricut. I got it just in case the Cricut is going to break down on me. I used it probably twice. You got it. I don't like that one because I don't like it because mine don't thread. My 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 thread don't um it don't thread in. It's it's like jacked up like I'm trying to take it back. It don't um thread the needle. Do yours do do you thread your needle your needle thread? If you didn't open it, I would take it back. It's like it's not a it's not a good threader. Like sometimes it threads, sometimes it don't. I've been just having to stick the thread in there and then um. What's I don't like about it? That's the only thing I don't like about it, I think. Because I love my brother. I have this um brother. I love it, but I'm thinking about just going back and using this one. I got this brother. Um, It's SE, what is it? S25. SE625. I'm sorry. I got that. And I bought it because it's an embroidery machine, but it's only like four. It's only a four, four by four, which is small. It's like for patches. You can use patches for that. So I've been using my, I've been using it to do embroidery, but it's a sewing machine also. And I love this one. It cuts the thread for you. It does the automatic thread. It does the automatic back stitch. It does the needle thread. It do, it does it all. Okay. And this thing over here, it don't do the automatic thread. I mean, the automatic back stitch. You got to push this down. You got to hold this down. But over there, you push a button and it do it. And this one right here, this thread thing right here. I can't see y'all. Okay, here it is. It's, it's crazy. Like, look, it's always going to work now. Sometimes it gets stuck. And then plus it still don't work. Like, I try to thread my needle and it don't work. I'm like, that is ridiculous. Like, I hate that part. I'd be so frustrated because this don't be threading the needle. But I got it because it was cheap. <laughs> And that really, ugh, it's a brother's. You know what I'm saying? I said, brother's is good, so let me go ahead and get it. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It was only $100. So let me go ahead and get it. I had my, perf I, I had other ones I could choose from. So, I, but I checked the reviews on this one. It was okay. But man, this do not thread the needle. You got to push this down to um, do backstitch. And then uh, it don't cut the thread. I got to cut the thread myself when I, um, with some scissors, okay? But that right there, because that's $100. Well, $100 get you, okay? But this one right here. That was 300 but that's that was i think it was 400 but it was embroidery slash uh what's the name it's automatic it's everything it got it's digital it's digital and like i said it, it's push a button it does it all i love it even though like i said the hoop is small on it let me just show y'all it's, uh, it's it's got the digital screen and it has the um what's this this is for the foot is that this the foot i ain't used it so i ain't using it so long i think it is the foot um, this is this way make that noise because an embroidery machine. But this is how you um this is how you um do the back stitch. It's 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 much better with cutting the how oh, you do this. One. I ain't I ain't play with this. Oh, I got the um this is the embroidery foot. So I gotta put the other foot on there for you to see how it cut the thread. This is the embroidery. This whole thing take you take this whole thing off when you doing a regular sewing machine. Okay, but yeah, man, this is and then it has the um it has do this machine have that on there. Oh, this, it lifted the needle up right here. This one, the other one don't have that on there. You got to turn the knob for that. So this is more advanced. <laughs> and it cuts your, it cuts your uh, thread for you right here. That one, don't. <laughs> but I just said, oh, well, I got this one. I can still use this whenever I want to. I'm thinking about going ahead and use this on my sewing machine when I, while I'm about to do these little booty things because I just like it better. But I just, the only thing I hate about it, you got to change this whole thing out to put the, um, the regular the sewing machine part on here because this is all embroidery right here so you gotta take this off change the needle thing for the um for the sewing part but i'm thinking about going ahead and doing that because i really don't have no orders right now to do anything small even though i just bought this one so i said i was going to go ahead and play with this so i can get to so i can get to get used to it and the good thing about it is i got the foot i got the brother i got this foot already and i had to buy it from amazon but it fits all my it fit this machine and that machine so that's why i'm glad i, I just wanted to stay with brothers so i can be able to use it because these things like this ain't cheap they're not cheap and i want to be able to use the same things for the different um for the different machines so i think i'm gonna go ahead and just finish playing with this but y'all gotta thread the thread manually because it don't work so yeah i would not tell nobody to get that machine because i don't like it i was kind of mad because i was trying to take it back and it's like well you opened it up you can't take it back i'm like if i would known it was broke i wouldn't i mean if, if no one gonna 
That's the reason why I got it because it said it threads the needle, but it doesn't. I done looked at YouTube and everything. And it does when they want to, but it's really hard to get it together. What you, what you, what you talking about, embroidery machine, Mary? What am I going to eat tonight? What am I going to eat tonight? Do you make things? Yes, I am going to make some stuff for autism. I, I got the, um, I'm going to do some shorts and some applique. I got to do the, the, the puzzle pieces um, for that, for, for autism. I do have that. I'm going to make an outfit for that. What month is that? I'm sorry. What month is autism month? But I do have the, um, the, the fabric already. I just got to be ready for the month. What month is it? Oh, this month. <laughs> oh, I gotta get that together. Okay, this month it started. Y'all got me show you the fabric I have. I got it over here ready to um but I wanted to make sure I was uh, let me see, we get over here. Yep, I got it. And these the autistic puzzle pieces. Autism puzzle pieces. Isn't that? If I can make some shorts with these, then I'm gonna put uh, applique like a kid's name with these um with these puzzle pieces in there. Yeah. So yep, I got this. I'm ready. I just gotta thank y'all for telling me because I sure didn't know it was this month. Thank you. I would have seen it sometime this month, but thank you. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna put this out now so I can be able to do these, make some shorts, and then put um the applique. Like I could put their the kid, the child's name on here, and then put these puzzles in their name and embroider the name in it. Um, this this fabric is really pretty too. So thank y'all for telling me. Cause I'm about to put it right here because I'm about to get these together right now. One, the one I got, the one I get good at sewing. I will upgrade. What you talking about? The sewing machine? Did you just buy that one, Fabulous? I forgot her name. I mean, I forgot. This is going so far, fast, I can't see. I got 117. Uh, I got 118 people in here. Let me see y'all thumbs up. Like this video, please. If y'all like the content of this video, please like the video. Follow me on Instagram, Miss Charming Gal. Follow me on Facebook, Charming Gal Boutique. But I opened it, so I can't take it back. Did you try it? Did you try to use it yet? Oh, you said, what's the best? I don't know what the best sewing machine is to get. I just got the I got the brother one, but it's the sewing machine slash embroidery. Now, if you're looking for embroidery, you shouldn't get that one because it's the, um, it's, you will be upset because the, the, um, the frame is too, the hoop is too small. I got it because I already knew that I was going to um, be wanting to use it as a sewing machine, okay? That's the reason why I got that one, because I said, I'm, I'm going to learn how to sew. So I got that one, the sewing machine. That's a nice machine. It's a nice machine to, for two-in-one. But that um, hoop is too it's small. You can't do nothing, but it's real, It's only four by four inches. So you can do like a patch, and you can do like a little little um, side embroidery, or you can do like little shirts. You can applique like little designs on bags and pillow, you know, little designs on like onesies and stuff. It's really small. The four is small. Four by four hoop is small, but you could do a lot of things with it though. If you're not gonna, if you don't want to do the big bulky stuff like sweatshirts and stuff like that, but I do it big stuff, so I had to give me a bigger hoop. So I went from the PEA hundred, now I, and then I went to the Novus. It's the brother, a Novus NQ sixteen hundred E, which has a sixteen, which has a six by ten hoop, and I went for my six needle to come. It's been a month and it still ain't here yet, so I'm waiting for that to come. I think, did I do a video on it? Yeah, I'm going to do a video on it. I thought I did a video on it. No, I did not. I'll be forgetting what videos I've been doing. Yeah, I could do a video on an embroidery puff hat. Oh, she got a Janome. That was the only reason why I didn't get a Janome because um, I already had the brothers and I wanted to make sure the files and stuff the same because you got different files when it comes to Janome and, and the other machines. They're different files that you got to you know, use. So I know all the brothers' um, files are the same when it comes to you know the files that you upload into your, your, your machine. 
That's the reason why I stick, stick with brother. But I'm gonna know now that I know and bro, um, brothers are not the um they are not the industry the business. They're like the home edition the brother machines. And the other ones like the Mel Melco and the Janomis, they are more like business because they got bigger frames. Like I can't really get a really big, big frame. Like I can't use a 10 by 10 in my in my brothers, in my brother six needle. But the Janome and the Meco, whatever machine, they can use big, big, big ones. The big, big ones. They industrial. But I, if I would have known that before I paid for the um other one, the six needle one, I would have probably still got it because um, maybe I wouldn't. Because I don't I'm scared to get the other ones because they're not the same files but it's not that hard to convert the files over it's just more work but yeah i didn't know that until after i bought it that i can't go higher than a 10 by 10 hoop 10 by 10 is still a good size hoop though i don't think i'm i mean i, don't, I really don't think i'm gonna need something anything bigger let me know anybody that got an embroidered machine they got the Melco or the Janomis that's going that's have a 10 a bigger size hoop than a 10 by 10 what do you use your your hoops for do you use it a, a hoop bigger than a 10 by 10 and if you do what you use it for it, like you could use bag, you could use it for bags and stuff like that. But I, I can go up to a, I think a eight and a half by eight and a half. I think the biggest I can go up is to a nine by something on the um machine, the sixty dollar I have. Oh quilts. Oh okay. Okay. She, he said he used it for quilts. Yeah, I use the Embrilliance um, software too. I love it. I mean, I'm learning still, but I'm learning. I love it. I got videos on how that to use that too. What else do y'all be using those big old... Um, well, okay, you can use... If you have the big old hoops, you can put a lot of stuff on there. Like, you could do a lot of a lot of stuff. Like, more than one image, I believe. You could put more than one image on one. Single needle Viking. Oh, she got a Viking. This... I can't stand this phone. Every time I say something, it pop up and then it go away. I can't see what y'all saying. Uh, okay. Yeah, my battery, my battery one dead. That's a good thing because I'm hungry. Let me plug up my phone. Hold on. I just want to come on here to just a little short video. But even though I say short, it never be short. But it's still good time. I got a little time. I could probably take a little nap before I start my. Cause you know what? I cannot focus. Yeah, you could do baby bibs on your five by seven. Yeah, what you mean? I can't do them in my. Why you can't? Um. Yep, you can use the re repositional hoop, five by twelve. I got that too, but you got to take extra steps for that. What about to say? What about to say to y'all? Oh, I I I focus better after I take my nap. I know it's late. It's like eight nine o'clock. <laughs> That's all horrible, don't it? I'm gonna take a nap and it's time to go to bed for real. But what happened is, look, I take a nap for about an hour. Oh, I'm really hungry. What did I eat today? And I get up around 10 o'clock and I be up until like four o'clock because I work better after midnight. Then I sleep in. On Sunday, I'm gonna sleep in because I'm the dinner is not until four o'clock. So I'm sleeping in and then go to dinner about four. So that's what I'm doing. Yes, yeah, it's, it's nine o'clock here, but I, I I just concentrate more. I focus better after midnight. So right now I'm tired because I need my nap, but I should be going to bed right now because it's like nine o'clock. But I'm not. Y'all be seeing me posting on my Facebook group. So I'm like, what y'all working on? This is what I'm working on. Because my goal is, like I said, my goal is to make these um make these um. Things and I'm I'm be done, but take about a couple of minutes. To do, it takes me about a while to do them because I'm just I'm start I'm I'm new at it, so I want to make sure it's right. Make sure I got the arm, creases arm. Make sure the elastic is in there right. Make sure everything is cool. So I'm gonna take me about a minute to do them. Well, did last night. See how fast I can go, go tonight. I'm gonna time myself to see how fast I can get one done. Not rushing it, but I'm just gonna see what I can do. How long it take me to get this get this done? I mean, it might be simple to y'all, but I'm brand new with this. Only thing I know how to make. Only thing I made on the sewing machine is this, mat, the face mask. The envelope pillow. I found it. I did a blanket that was tough because it's a lot of fabric. So this is tough, y'all. Getting this elastic and getting these dang on seams and stuff together, it's kind of tough. But this this one right here was easier to do. I did three. This is my third one. The other ones I jacked up because I had the the um the vine. I mean the the elastic was too thick. But so it got easier. I was like, okay, I'm cool. And then I used I used the um what's this called, y'all? 
um i use this stuff what's it called i can't think of it right now but it's hard using this stuff it's hard it's called um how about to tell me so i hold on i'm about to go get it then but i ain't gonna tell me because y'all usually tell me i used to finish my sentences for me let me go get it what's it called Oh yeah, um, bias tape. I use the bias tape because it's it's look much more much it look better, but it's hard using this stuff. Make sure because it's don't it's don't like this is a curve. It turns and the bias tape is straight. So you gotta make sure it's on there right. So that's hard. It's hard, but I'm trying to get it because I wanted to be cute, cute. I could have just used this. I just could have just turned it around, turned it under, down here too. But I didn't. I used the bias tape. So. Uh, it gives a better, it gives a finish, a finish edge. So that was hard, y'all. And then turning this thing up there and twisting to make sure it's iron straight. And that was hard too. But I got my straight, I got it straight. I got my, I got it straight, y'all. And dealing with elastic, I don't want to do elastic. Anything I can make without elastic. Yeah, I've been ironing, ironing same in. Cause that's, I mean, I learned how to do the arm and that stuff in when I was doing those masks. But um, it's just elastic is the part I hate. I know somebody said I need to see a seizure, a surgery. But somebody also said, do not just jump up and get a surgery when you just start learning how to sew. They said, learn your sewing machine first and then get a surgery. I don't want to be using all these all these things and then I can't even finish using this one. Like, if I get a surgery, I'll probably never use my sewing machine again. So I want to keep on working with the, the sewing machine first. And then I'll probably go and get a surgery. I know they said surgery is better, but I'm really not doing big stuff. Like, I mean, you, you still use surgeries on little stuff like this. Because um, I know people do it, like, with these. But... I don't want to keep on getting on these machines and have nowhere to put them. Y'all know what I'm saying? And it seems like it's hard to do the surgery. The surgery is only for you to just make sure you make it look nice. That's what the surgery is for. Cutting everything off, I heard. Just to make sure everything looks nice afterwards. But you can still do a zigzag stitch with your regular uh, sewing machine. I've been researching, y'all, to see what the difference was. Yeah, the seams are cleaner with the surgery. Okay. I was trying to research to see what the surgery was and what it do. I'm like, okay, just for the seams. But I can do a zigzag stitch and get it together. So it's totally different than this. Yes, I know, it's, I, totally, I know it's totally different. I'm trying to figure out what the difference is with the surgeon than a sewing machine. Now, I researched that and I looked at it. So I was like, I'm not getting a surgery right now. I can still do these things with just a zigzag stitch, even though I even do a zigzag stitch on this. So I'm just keep on playing with my sewing machine because I ain't going to where to put a surgery. But believe me, y'all, I was thinking about getting a surgery. I was on my, I'm looking like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and get one. I was like, no, let me stop. Buying all this stuff and do with the, deal with the stuff I already have. I got to miss a thread right here. And that's another thing. Surgeons will make sure it won't um, have no loose threads, too. The hoodie towels? No. I was going to make my... I, mm, I want to make my own hoodie towels. I've seen this video on YouTube. <gasps> it does? I checked it. I didn't see it. She said my brothers have a um a surgery stitch. Which one? The one the the one with the embroidery machine or this one back here? I checked it. It said it said it was a um. I did look at it yesterday. Somebody said it might have it in here, but I don't know which one it is. Cause the other uh is it the um oh yes it is. It says a stretch overlock stitch. So it says the overlock stitch, but I just don't know which one. Oh the combo one. The combo one got the, the surgeries. What is it called? Is it called it's called overlock right? I heard it. I just found that out yesterday. This lady was like, if you don't have a surgery, you can use an overlock. Let me get my, 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 my manual and see if I got an overlock. And I do have an overlock. I have a um, stretch overlock stitch. And I have another overlock. And I was like, which one do I use? I got the elastic overlock stitch. But I just don't know which one to use. Which one is the, the right one to use for... um? Well, maybe I can help me. Tell me right now what I need to use. But yeah, um, I can check. I didn't check. I never knew it. it meant, I didn't know it was called overlock until like yesterday when the lady said on this YouTube channel, she said, if you don't have the surgery, you can use overlock. I said, let me go look at my manual. And I do, but I'm going to check the other manual too and see what the other one is for brothers. The one with the um, embroidery machine. So tell me which one I need to use the overlock. Which one I use? I don't have a I don't have an overcast stitch. I don't have that. Not in, not in the one I just not in, not in the P 
not in the SM2700. I don't have one. But I'm going to check and see if it's on the other on the other one. If it does, oh, I'm in business. Thank you, Toynetta. She said she watched all my videos and she inspired. I'm glad I inspire you. But I'm definitely going to check. I forgot to check that one over there to see. Because if it do, ooh, ooh, I'm in the business. That won't be, you, I won't be using that one for my embroidery machine no more. I'll be using it for my sewing machine. I wish I can I'm end up selling this one. Because I ain't about to have no two sewing machines for what? Hold on, let me see if I can find that manual. It should be right here. Well, it should be right here, but never. Right here. Where it's supposed to be. I thought I had my, oh, here it is, I think, I'm looking for my manual so I can see if I can find it for my brother, what else y'all saying, I have learned so much from you, thank you, thank you, I don't know, this is my other machines, uh, oh, they got me want to see if I got me a surgery on my other one, I want to know, <laughs> And I got all these dang on brother, uh, <laughs> brother manuals. Now I know which machine is which because they are brothers. But y'all got to check. I'm going to check it out in this video to see if I got an overlock. Ooh. Overlock um, thing on my machine. I hope I do. Who is need a fajita? I hope I do. I hope I do, y'all. Because I'll be so happy if it's on the PE on the other one. I'm glad y'all told me that. Oh, is this it? Nope, this ain't. This is the big one. The I have. It's the overcast stitch on the combo. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. She said it's the one over there on the brothers PE six twenty five overcast. Okay, I'm a, um I'm a, I got this. I'm looking for that. I'm looking for that manual right now. I can't find the manual for my um. Why got these thing on manuals for this one? I don't have the manual for my um. A little one. I gotta find it, but I'm about to I'm about to figure it out. Thank you, cause I'm about to straight start using it. Thank y'all for that. See, that's what I'm saying. Y'all come on here and tell me something, which I need to know. I don't know where the other one is at. I'm gonna just look on. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look it up on the thing, but I think I can't look at it until I switch the um. Oh, is this it? I can't look at it until I switch it back to the, um, to the, um, hold on. Is this it? Yeah. This is the menu right here. Okay. I'm going to see what's in here. Okay. Overcast. Hold on. Give me a second. Go to stitching. I mean, where I go to. Uh, let's see. Stitching. Stitches. Let's see. 35. Various stitches. Let's see. Page 35. This is the this PE, I mean the SE625. And let's see. You said overcast. <gasps> Hold on. Overcasting. It says two-step elastic zigzag stitch. It says overcasting medium weight. Overcasting stitch. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. No, just let me stop being ghetto. I got it. So I don't gotta get no surgery. Thank you. So it's two of them. It's a overcast stitch and overcasting stitch. It just say one through 13 and one through 14. How do I know which one to use? I just play around with it. Oh my gosh. That thing was $400. Okay, so that's, it should. And that's, like I said, I didn't really thought about looking at that one because it's an embroidery machine slash. Thank you. Yes. It's the um, SE625. No. <laughs> but, okay. Only thing, like I said, um, she said don't let her go buy it. The stitches. The stitches out nice he looks oh you got one miss parker she one who told me about it thank you miss parker thank you miss parker you know i'm on that show miss <laughs> parker oh my gosh i'm so about to put this one i'm about to sell this one i don't want this one no more girl i gotta figure out how to use it so do i i know she said i'll be cracking her up do i i stitch for oh because we we i'm about to call you miss parker so I got to stitch it first, and then I use that stitch. Oh, I gotta, I'm gonna have to call you. I'm gonna have to go look it on YouTube. I'm so happy, but I'm so mad I paid $100 on that dang on machine, and I can't use it. 
Dog, that is sweet. Okay, cool. Now I don't need to, I don't have to buy a serger. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, it's like, they got a lot of overcast stitching. <laughs> it's a lot, it's a whole lot of them here. See, okay, that was for a lot of, so it's worth it. That's that's cool, that's cool. And like I said, you, it comes with that. So you could you getting a serger, a sewing machine, and you're getting a four by four hoop with the embroidery, but then you're also getting um, the automatic thread cutter, the automatic neater, needle threader, and you're getting a little push button for the um, the back stitch, and you're getting the uh, digital um, stuff. But the reason I was kind of, you know, digital is kind of, when you got stuff digital, it's kind of like, oh my God, this is brand new stuff. That's the reason why I bought this, 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 this turning knob, because it's, you know, it's easier to turn a knob okay so i was kind of confused a little bit that's a knob right there that i, that I can turn so i was like okay that's cool that's very self-explanatory i can understand that but that the one over here with the digital thing it was kind of hard for me to ex ex understand it because it's digital and it's like confusing but i'm gonna I'm go ahead and um do, do, look at it a little bit more but i love this machine it was a beast too that thing went that thing so really good i I pumped out like a hundred and over so, hundred something mask on that machine, okay? Cause that's what, I bought that one to do the mask, okay? So yeah, I'm about to bring this baby back out. Forget about the four by four. I'm gonna just use these two right now, and I'm about to pump this baby out tonight to get my over stat my over um casting stitches. But my question is, Miss Parker, do I, I I sew first? I sew regular stitch first, and then I go over it with the overcasting? Is that how I do it? Oh my, I'm about to get into it. Tonight, I thought I took my nap. You can't use a repositional hoop on that one, can you? Is there a repositional hoop for the um SE625? I know it's one for the I got the one for the 800, but I know it's one for the um SE625. I'm learning something. It is Miss Parker. Oh, Miss Parker, you telling me everything. You give me all the business. What size is the reposition hoop for the um, SE625, Miss Parker? Oh, it's a four by six? That's not too bad. That's not too bad because, well, it's okay. Like, I thought it'd be at least a five by seven. It's only an inch off. That's cool. I never knew that. Yeah, I know the surgery still cuts off the excess um, fabric, too. But I really, I mean, as long as I got that stitch, I'm good right now. So, yes, I know the surgery do more than just the stitching. But um, when we do baby clothes, I really don't have that much fabric. You know what I'm saying? So, it's small stuff. And all the videos that I've been watching it, with the surgeries and stuff, it's really not that much fabric I'm losing out of, you know, as far as baby clothes. Like, I'm going to do some big adult clothes, and I see, you know, I'll probably get a surgery. But I'm not even doing that right now. I just want something that's going to get my stuff looking good, like my stitch good. So now that Miss Parker told me I had this on my other machine, and hey, yeah, I looked it up, and she was right. I'm not saying that she wasn't, she was not right, but I just wanted to see so she could tell me which one to use. So which one do I use, Miss Parker? There's a lot of them on here. Oh, it's just a, it's like overcasting. It depends on which one. Would, okay, I just look at them and see a different kind. It's a lot of them, y'all. He just taught me something. I'm about to put this one in the closet, okay? I'm about to be locked in the closet. Somebody want it? I'm selling it. I'm selling it. I don't want it. I'm telling you, why would y'all want it if I don't want it, right? <laughs> Wendy said she about to go to the local marketplace to find one. I'm telling you. Yes, honey. Yes. I, I like that machine. I do like it. It's it, and it and it flows so good. It flows so well because, like I said, um, the only reason why I mean, it's just a small hoop, but you can use it as a it's it's a nice flow sewing machine. And then when you want to switch it over to embroidery, just do a little bit something, something. You can do it. You could do it. Uh, I'm gonna say a lot of logos. You could do a lot of logos with that. You could do um little like let me show you how big the hoop is. Hold on. This is a four by four hoop. And even though it says four by four, it's not gonna get all this in here. Um, it's only gonna get about this much. You're gonna have about this much. Let me show y'all a patch that I did in this one. Let me show you. So if y'all into patches or whatever, something or either little small logos, it'll be something like this. Something small, kids' clothes, onesies. 
You can do it. You can do it. Towels. Let me find a, a small patch that I did in here. Um, see, I did this patch in here. But see how much you still. I mean, you probably. I can make it a little bit bigger, but it ain't gonna be that much bigger, y'all. I, I wish I would have made uh, find me a patch that I can make to fill up the whole thing, so I can see how big. Like um, this will fit in there. This will fit in there. So you you see you get my drift like, but you can, you can get a lot of things, but it's not gonna be that big. And um, this will not fit in there. Okay, this is too big. This is like a, I think this is, even though it looks like it's gonna fit, this will not be this big because it's not. This, this is too much. It's too much. It's not gonna be that big. It can't be that big. This is like a this is like a five by seven. This is a five by seven hoop. Okay, this this size is the five by I use this in a five by seven hoop. This is a four by four. This will not fit. This will not be this big in this hoop. It'll be a little bit smaller. Just give y'all a little example of how it looks. Let me see. Um this right, of course, this will fit in there. So stuff like this will fit in there. And you can still get you a nice little, a nice little something, something going on in um with this with a small hoop, but don't let that be. You ain't gonna. You gonna be like when you get there. You be like, oh no, I want a bigger one. But you still be cool because. Hold on, let me see this Parker saying. Hold on, hold on. Let me read you this Parker. Use the two two point zigzag and it prevents fraying. <gasps> two point. I'm gonna, hold on, I'm about to highlight it. Two point zigzag. Let's see. Get my pen in. Overcasting. Two point. I don't see that one yet. I'm gonna call. I'm at the inbox. I'm at inbox you, Miss Parker. What's your name on um? Well, inbox me because I want to get information on here. Can you inbox me on Facebook, Charmaine Galloway? And I can talk because I really need help. I really need that question. If you can inbox that to me on Facebook because I can't see it on here. And I don't see it on here either. I see overcasting, stitch, reinforcement, heavy fabric, medium weight fabric. It tell you the different fabrics to use. Um, overcasting, medium, heavy weight. It tell you what fabric. So maybe it, I, that'll help me out. But then it show you this kind of stitching in this. It does too. So I can look at that too. It got one for knits, knit seams. So the one that lady was telling me, it got, I think it's the one with the X's. Is it the one with the X's, Miss Parker? I think it's the one with the X's. Oh, that's a 4.0. So all mine say 4.0 or 5.0. Oh. Heavyweight fabric. Well, I, I inbox you. I mean, I don't know your, your name on Facebook. So just inbox me and I, um, can we do a bit of video chat? Because I need some help. I'm trying to get these. I'm trying to get these together. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm so proud of these little things. You're gonna try to be seeing my bloomers. But next time I want to do some shorts, and I know the shorts gonna be, you know, more, you know, detailed, more different, much not much different than this, but you're gonna have some little legs to them. This is just like a little opening right here. I need some legs to my stuff. So I will be looking for your inbox, Miss Parker. But I'm glad I got this manual out. I'm because I really, really didn't look at this manual for real, for real. But I didn't know what the over. I didn't know what it was called until the other day, anyway. So now I know it's called an overcast and stitch. I didn't know that until the other day. So yes, honey, yes. This is a, that's a nice sewing machine. I love it. And I'm about to get back on it tonight because the other one I'm about to just put in the closet. Yes, honey. Yes, she's on my way to sewing. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm <laughs> got my little bloomers. I'm so excited about these things. I don't understand, girl. I was stressed out. Let me show you the first ones I made. Okay, I'm back. Hey, give me a snack. My stomach is the back of my back. Whew. My stomach. Okay, give me. I'm sorry if I'm eating y'all. I, mean, I ain't gonna smack it like that. That's gotta give me a little something to eat. A little, little roll because my stomach is the back of my back. Feel it. Um, this is the first one I This is the first one I did. <laughs> Somebody said it looked like I had put these together like this on my, my channel. It's like, it like mommy and daughter panties. <laughs> First of all, I did. Am I crazy? But no, you don't, you are not supposed to sew on an elastic. But in the video, it says sew on an elastic. So there's no stretch because I sewed on an elastic. But I knew that. So I was like, why would she tell you to sew on an elastic? So yeah, this is the one I did. And I sewed on, a, sewed on an elastic. And what she said about Miss Parker, hold on, I see. And it don't stretch. So this is just like, just like mommy panties, but they're not. 
But I, I did the, I did the zigzag stitch on here. I don't know what I was doing. I was just doing something. But that's not what it's not what I was been doing. I supposed to do something else. But I, I lined it up. It was I did good sewing it, and I didn't even turn it in like I was supposed to. I checked this one all the way up. But then this time, I did it again. This is my second one. <laughs> Well, this is my first. I don't remember. But this girl, I don't know what the heck I was doing. But this, the, the elastic is way too thick. Way too thick. Then I got some elastic stuck in here. I couldn't get it out. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to tell y'all this, but I'm telling y'all this because I did it. It's, I'm going to show y'all what elastic is. It's right here. And it's stuck in there. I couldn't get it out. So I just put some more in there. So this elastic was way too thick. This right here, girl, I don't know what I was doing. I was sewing up some stuff. And I thought she told me this. Oh, I was trying to sew this down. The elastic. Just throw the whole thing in the garbage, okay? That's what I need to do. Just throw it in the garbage. So yeah, this was this is tour. Everybody said this look good until I put it close up and you see all the stuff, the damage I did. Like what the heck? So then this is my first one. This is my second one, and this is my third one. I got it together right now. Mm -mm -mm. Hey hey now, I ain't. Hey, 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 now I got my, now Miss Parker told me about the overcasting stitch. Oh, it's about to be on and popping tonight. Let me stop being ghetto. I'm about to start, I'm going to make these tonight. Everybody coming up in here, I see y'all, 138, we'll see y'all wasn't here earlier. Hey, welcome, welcome. I got to do these tonight, these bloomers tonight, these diaper covers tonight. And I'm about to get off this live because they keep on saying I'm going to get off and I'm still talking to y'all. The baby be upset. I'm sorry, I'm hungry. What you say, Miss Parker? I gotta go. I gotta go see what Miss Parker talking about because she be telling me all the good stuff. Let me go on my Facebook channel because I can't see what y'all saying on here because it's going too fast. I'm gonna see if I can go on my back on my computer if it's back to working and see what she's talking about because she just told me all the jewels, the jewels. I was about to go get me a surgery and now I don't have to. I mean, like I said, I just wanted it for baby clothes. I'm not about to buy no surgery for no baby clothes. I'm saying that now, but I probably will because I want to do the um. <laughs> I want to do the um the bell bottoms too, Miss with Miss Parker. I'm gonna do the the baby bell bottoms, and that's that's um stretchy knit. So I want to do that too. Let me see if I go. I'm, I'm on Facebook. I need to be going to YouTube. See what y'all talking about because Miss Parker just said something. I want to see what she said. She, she my best friend. Sorry, I'm eating y'all, but I'm hungry. I used to eat on camera, but I'm very hungry. Let me see what she said. Miss Parker. Why is it not showing up? What'd you say? Say it again, Miss Parker, because I can't see it. You know how to make them? The oh, hi, Nita. I watch you. How you doing? I just started following her. Twitch. That's, that's why I want to make them, because you make them. They are so cute. And she just got her a surgery. Yeah, I follow you. Um, she just got her a surgery and the bill bottom. That's the reason why I want to make them because I see her video. But I need you to tell me how to do it like step by step. I don't think you did the video step by step. I watched all your videos. Um, so I'm saying waving well, her like she know I'm talking to her. <laughs> Nita. Um, so yeah, they are so cute. She got her a surgery, but I'm um had to sign up for what, um, Miss Parker? Yeah, um, what I'm about to say? Uh, yeah, I follow for, um, Anita. I didn't know her name. I couldn't think of her name. But she got a lot of nice videos. She go live. She got, um, she sell fabric. She only working with one needle now, but she's saving up for her, her, sing, her, um, her needle, her, um, six needle or whatever she getting. And, um, what else? She got the cutest bell bottoms. She know how to do them, but I don't know how to do them yet. And I want to learn. I'll be trying to do the bumpies. The bump, the bumpies. And I can't get that yet either. I'm still... Maybe I can get them now since I got this together. But I want to stick on these for a little while. Let me do some more of these first. Pamela is needed for... What? Yeah, I seen it. I think I seen that video. You said you um something you did. You sold it. The surgery surgery was messing it up or something. Um, but yeah, I want to learn how to do those pants. But she had a lot of 
a cute outfit. She made a little, some, a little bell bottom outfits with a little pants. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Are you accepting new people? My, yes, I am. Go ahead, because my daughter just approved like a thousand people. Because <laughs> I've been, y'all been, people have been holding on for so long because, um, now what's, what's, what's Pamela? Who is Pamela? I just want to speak with, I don't want to know what's going on. Y'all got to put me in the mix. I want to know what's, who, what's going on. <laughs> yeah, um, what about to say? What was I saying? This is where you can go to my Facebook page, Charmaine Galloway, Miss Parker, so we can connect. Charmaine Galloway, and just message me. But yeah, I'm trying. My next thing after I work on these, I'm gonna do shorts. Then I'm gonna try to do them bell bottoms. The only thing I'm scared about the bell bottoms is that flare part of the bottom of the, the bell bottom. And plus, it's knit fabric. I'm scared of that too. But now I know I do this little zigzag thing. Oh, you, Pamela, you want to know Nita's channel. Yeah, what is your channel, Nita? Anita Fajita. Is it Fajita? Did I say it right? I would say Anita Fajita. Um, what's your channel, um, Anita? Did I say her name wrong again? She got a lot of nice... Like I said, she do her one-on-one. She just started... I'm um, one-on-one. She got a single needle, and she just started doing T-shirts. I'm like, you should have been... She's like, she was kind of scared to do the T-shirts. I mean, the onesies and stuff on her one, on her embroidery machine. I wonder what you was doing. So what was you doing before the T-shirts the and tank tops? I mean, the t-shirts and the, um, the tank tops, I mean, the um, embroidery, the t-shirt. She said she was scared to do the t-shirts. I'm like, what was you doing before then? Yeah, I just started following her, like, last month, too. Sorry. I'm hungry. Oh, you was doing a blanket. And that's, that's the reason why I did my blanket, too. She was the one who motivated me to do my blanket. I seen her video. I'm talking about Nita Fajita. Is that Fajita? Is that saying it right? <laughs> I'm sorry. If it's not, I'm sorry. But Anita, I was in, I was in, um, motivated because she showed me how to do the embroidery blankets with the little minky. And she sell minky too. But I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. So yeah, I started watching her. And this other girl too, she, um, little Elisa. Little Elisa. Oh, she said I'm saying it right. Good. But um, little Elisa, she's good too. Her and her mom so cute. <laughs> they be working together. But yeah, I, I started following Anita because I seen um, her do her blankets and then them bell bottom pants. They are so cute. I want to know how to do it. Yeah, I watch all her videos too. I watch when I, when I first find somebody, I watch all the videos. Look, I just see if I'm interested. I'm watching the whole thing just to see. And I watch Anita's a couple times because I want to know how to do that blanket. And I cannot fold my blankets right, Anita. She fold them so perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> all her little, all her, her little blankets look so cute on her shop. I'm like, how she fold the blankets so cute like that? So I'm over here trying to work it out and trying to see how to fold them to make them cute. But then I like the way you do your samples too, Nita. How she, um, how she, um, do her little samples. She don't do the whole blanket. You do the samples. So I got to start doing that too. They so cute because you don't got to waste all that fabric on one blanket. So she, you know, said that in her, her video, I got to start doing that too. But I got so much stuff going on. I, I be watching people and I'm like, I want to do that too. I want to do that now. But yeah, shout out to everybody that's on here that I'll be following. Now I know I can put her name on there too because I forgot her name. But yeah. Yeah, her little boys are so cute. I'll write your name down because I'll be shouting out people that follow me when I'm doing my lies but yeah oh you're welcome yeah but I'd always follow you but I never knew which I never put your I write I didn't write your name down here so now I got your name on here so when I do my lies and somebody say who I follow I follow you and I follow Parker on the Porsche designs. I follow the baby booty. I follow little, little Alicia. I follow Angela, Jasmina. <clears throat> I follow Alexa Galloway. I follow Cindy. I just follow, so I'm following Cindy. Cindy. I don't know what her last name is. I follow Shayna. Um, and these all are, and mostly all these are new people too that just started. 
their channels. That's just for embroidery right there. I follow a lot of people, in, you know, everywhere else, cricket and stuff. I follow a lot of people. But those are just the ones I do follow for embroidery. Yeah, Cindy, that's her last name. I can't, I ain't gonna try to mess it up, but yeah, that's her name. <laughs> yeah, I follow her. I think I, I don't know how I, I found her somewhere. And then I follow some other lady. Mm -hmm. See, I'm supposed to be off this live. See, I wanna know how to do scrunchies too, but that's, I'm just so scared to do knit, knit fabric. She said, follow XSL scrunchie. I think I seen her, but I just didn't follow because I don't want to. Do, I do want to do scrunchies, but I'm scared. I think I seen some of her videos. Um, I want to do. I want to do um more. I want to do like like a, a turban. I want to do a lot of do a turban, but all that stretchy fabric, I'm scared. But I want to do a baby turban with the bows in the front. I, I looked over a thousand videos, but I still can't get that one that's gonna be like, uh, you could do it, Charmaine. Can't find the one that's that's motivated me to do it because it looks scary, it looks real scary to me. I oh, know, but I gotta go take my nap, Ginger, so I can get up and finish my samples. Look at these. I got these from Amazon, so I'm gonna put. I'm gonna do some more sample shirts and put them on my little man mannequin because I'm getting my boutique almost ready. I mean, it's, I got everything, description, and everything up on Etsy. I just gotta put the pictures on there. I made me a drop. I made me a backdrop. I'm gonna got a video on that coming. I gotta edit it. So I, can, and I put pictures. I put took all the pictures of everything, but I just gotta get the descriptions and stuff together. I got my policy and everything on there, but I just know how to. I got my policy and stuff on my Etsy page. Go check me out. No, I want y'all check it out yet. I want y'all go there yet because I ain't got my stuff on there yet. So I, I only put a couple things on there. Some stuff that I mocked up, like pillows I mocked up from off of um. If y'all know about um, place it, p l a c e i t place it .com, Go to that because you can mock up so much stuff. Also have some mock-up videos on my YouTube channel. You can show you how to mock-up on Cricut and Silhouette. Um, so yeah, check those out because Place It is really good. Even though I pay, I pay for the version, Place It, but you can mock-up so much stuff. So I went on there and I mocked up some pillows, some sublimation pillows, and they on my site right now too. But I didn't, um, that was easy to do. So now I just got to get the description and stuff on my um, samples that I made and put them on there. The picture's are already done. I just got to get my butt down in my computer and start putting the description on there. And um, upload it to the computer so I can launch my boutique, y'all. Yes, check out placeit.com. Um, and like I said, I got a video on my YouTube channel to tell you how to mock up stuff on your Cricut and your silhouette on Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio. I got videos to show you how to mock up stuff to make it look real good. But um, I can't. Thank you, Avery. He said, I can do it. I got to get my butt down because I said, let me go ahead and finish doing some more samples before I open my, my and I'm trying to wait for my, my, um, print my own. Um, I'm trying to wait till my machine come in. So I really didn't want to open it up until I got it, but I know I can do, I can do, even though I never, I probably did one. I probably did, I probably did, probably, I did like two, two um onesies. On my one needle but i've done sweatshirts and jean jackets on there but i just didn't want to do i haven't had the reason to do any onesies because i don't have any babies in my family so i really haven't did it so i said like, go ahead and just do the mock-up instead of wasting up one wasting onesies and little shirts i might as well just make two mock-ups or whatever but i've done sweatshirts and hoodies and stuff on those single needles but i never done i probably did like two onesies just because i didn't want to mess them up because who i'm gonna, who I'm gonna put i'm gonna just mess them up but um i'm gonna go ahead and start i guess i'm gonna start practice on it because my other machine ain't here yet and i want to put my i want to open my shop I think, um, Nita, don't you have, no, I don't think you do. You don't have a video on the, re the repositional hoop, do you? Or do you? Yes, yeah, me too, Fabulosis. Let me sure I say the name right. I love it. Like I said, Miss Parker then gave me the jewels. She got me all happy now that I know I got an overlock on my so on my machine, so I don't got to go get me another surgery, because soon I seen I need a surgery. I'm like, I got to give me one. But I'm like, no, I don't got to give me one too quick. Cause I need, I can do that, and best believe I'm gonna try it tonight. But I just gotta make sure I know how to use it. Do I need to stitch first and then use the overlock on top, or do I just use the overlock by itself? That's a question I gotta ask Miss Parker when I hopefully I can inbox her tonight, cause she can help me. Cause I need to get it done. I need to start on it tonight. Um, 
I don't know if I got to do both stitches or just one stitch. Really? The scrunchies don't have to be made? I think I tried to do um, the scrunchies on it. And I was just, that's when I first started. And my sewing skills was all jacked up. I was all zigzagged all over the place. So I'm about to find the videos. But I really want to know how to do the turbans. That's what I really want to do. Scrunchies, is, but I want to do the turbans. Okay. Okay, thank you, Miss Parker. So I stitch on top of that stitch. I, step on I stitch on top of the regular stitch that I put down first. She said, Miss Parker said she loved me at night with my sips. I'll be too goofy when I be sipping on my wine. I'll just be having fun. Make me feel good. The wine made me feel good. Hey, Jeanette from Los Angeles. Oh, she's been here since an hour ago. Well, this is, is I'm on the right video? Or this is the video that went off? Let me see. I'm on YouTube. I'm looking at your comments, but I want to make sure I'm on the right video. I'm glad you like the lives. Okay, I was on the wrong video. That was a whole hour ago you said that. Okay, I was on the wrong video. Oh. Okay, Elite, somebody said, what's the difference between 7710 and 7720? The only thing that's different is the shelves. This is the 77, well, my shelf not in here because it's up there. This is 7710, only have one shelf. 7720 has two. That means you can put more paper. You can use two shells for the print for the paper. They both print. Excuse me. Um, I told y'all I got 11 by 17 and 13 by 19 and eight and a half by 11. So they print up to 13 by 19, y'all. And you cannot print that big in Cricut, but you can print that big in Silhouette Scoot Studio. In Silhouette Studio, you can, you can get the um, free edition. You don't got to pay for it, and you don't got to have a cameo. So if you want to print big and do sublimation or whatever and use these printers, you can go ahead and use sublimate. You can all go ahead and use Silhouette Studio, or you can use Microsoft Word. But you can print big. Some people get the um, other sublimation printers, like the um, the one, but they don't print that big. But I understand why they get it. They get it because you don't got to worry about transferring the ink over to, you don't got to worry about transferring these over to sublimation printers. These, you got to worry about the, the ink not working or whatever, or not going through, or, you know, just got to worry about all kind of stuff. And you got to make sure you hit your head. I mean, I'm not going to try and discourage you because these are cheaper than the other machine. Yeah, I said, oh, thank you for writing it down for me. Y'all, 13 by 19, 11 by 17, and 8 and a half by 11. These machines print, both of them print the same. The only thing that's different is, is the shelves. You get two, you can, you can, um, you got two different size papers in this one. I use Ink X Pro, Ink X Pro, Ink X Pro. Or you can use, um, yeah, the Eco. Oh, you got the Epson Eco Eco Tank. She got the um, Epson Eco Tank, which is about the same amount. Ain't it about the same? But it's not sublimation, right? You got to transfer over to a sublimation, right? Yeah, I seen that. They they start they start doing the knockout um on cricket, but I was doing that on silhouette already. Silhouette's the bomb as far as the the um the silhouette studio, but that cameo. Shoot, it's hard. For, I can't get them all that extra stuff. You got to figure out how to print. Cricket, you just print. Cricket, you just cut. So the way you got to make sure your lines are straight. You got to make sure that you're in light. The light is all that registration and stuff. You got It's too much for Cricket. I mean, too much for Silhouette for me, for the cameo. But Cricket is easy. You just go ahead and cut. But Silhouette had too many steps. I was like, what? What's this? Ooh, $400. Epson has a sub printer for $400. When I got these before the pandemic, they were only $100. Everything is sky high now. They discontinued. <laughs> Cause everybody, <laughs> everybody got the printers. <laughs> but I don't understand why they mad. Like, look, we using them. Why y'all mad? <laughs> Man, everybody, they was selling out of them things. Everybody know, but we all on YouTube talking about transferring your dog on Espen printer to a sublimation printer. But you know what? Cause they ain't, they ain't buying the ink. That's probably why. Cause they're not buying the ink. The um F's and E for it. they're buying sublimation ink, but still we buying y'all printers. Why is this? I wonder why they discontinued them. Thirteen by nineteen is the whitest they print. I 
Oh, they replaced them with the 7820. What? Why did you change the name? <laughs> That's crazy. Sorry, but that cinnamon roll did not fill me up. <laughs> Man, I'm trying to think what I'm going to eat. Mm, my eye itching. Man, y'all going to make me not take my nap tonight. It's a, a night a night nap. Now I'm thirsty because that thing was dry. <laughs> oh, man. I want my nap, y'all. I got to go. Let me go. See, I can't see straight. <laughs> Dude, did the, the Epson come with the sublimation printer? No. I mean, not this one. But Epson do have sublimation printers, though. Like this one right here is Epson. That's an Epson. That print um, 22 or 24 width. That's an Epson. And my big baby. That's a sublimation printer. And it prints out 22 by however wide you want it. I mean, however long you want it. I got this because there people say, why you get that big old thing? I didn't get it because it print that. I got it to print more than one thing. Like I said, I could do over 20 masks at one time. But right here on these machines, you only could do like four masks on, on 13 by 18 paper. You could probably do three masks on them. But over there, I could do like 20 of them at a time. And keep rolling and rolling. We rolling. But this one, you only could do like three masks. That one, I could do like three shirts at the same time. This one, I could do one shirt at the same time. That's the reason why I bought that big old thing because I could do more than one project at once. Right. Right, but they do have, I mean, Epson do have the, um, they do have the, um, so the major printer, but they weigh more than $100. That's why they, they probably think they're missing out money because they, they took these out of the thing because they can make more money selling the real, the real, um, so the major printers. This is the only printer out that you can convert. I mean, I'm just saying that's the only one, but it's, it's Epson, one of the few, this is the only one you can really convert to make it a, um, a submission printer where they can sell a real submission printer for way more money than a hundred dollars that's what they're doing that's what they're doing they took it off because they know well i'm about you might as well take it off because they're getting making these all this money off the submission we can make another one come up on the a real submission printer and take them off the market and we pay way more money than a hundred dollars for it because they were a hundred but then after the, the um pandemic man they went up to like three hundred dollars it was almost a thousand dollars wasn't it I know that's what um no I know the P the P eight hundred was like a thousand dollars after the pandemic. Okay, I'm gonna look at the computer and see what y'all saying. I can see it better on the computer over here. She said it isn't isn't she said the oh, she said it isn't it's not um discounted. I use um Jiffy Mix. I always say Jiffy Mix. <laughs> I use Jiffy shirts sublimation. I use a lot of cricket shirts too. I haven't did it all over shirt yet. I haven't did it all over shirt. I mean, I'm just scared to do it. I mean, I could look at that big old printer, but I have not did it all over shirt. Cause I'm scared. Let me see what y'all saying. They should just get smart and yep. Yeah, they are. They they are already selling the Epson printer, but they way more expensive. Shayna, they way expensive. Like that thing right there. Ooh, and they got more. They got real sublimation printers. That's expensive, but they was like, no, nah, we about to get rid of this other one, these seven seven ten and seven seven twenties because well, they somebody said they wasn't discounted, so that's cool. Um, I mean discontinued, but yeah. I'm trying to see what y'all questions are. I'm sorry. I'm going to forehead all in the way. Yeah, the brother's surgery is at Walmart. Yeah, I know. That's what I think. Um, Somebody told me about that. That's, I was going to get it, but I'm not getting it because now nah, I should be cool with what I got for right now. How much did what cost? Oh, you talking about the surgery? Yeah, they got them at Walmart. I've seen them on, um, I think that's what, um, no, what's her name? Nita got hers from. I'm pretty sure she got hers from Walmart. I think somebody, I know somebody got from Walmart. Like, that's, that's why I was going to go get it because it wasn't that expensive. But then I went to Walmart, they didn't have them. 
So I think Anita got hers from there. Oh, they said the um seventy seven the seven seven ten is discontinued, but the seven seven twenty isn't. It's the same thing. It's the same printer. It's just one of them got two trays. That's the only th difference. The only thing different. What Miss Parker doing right now? She said somebody said thank you, Miss Parker. What else you telling them, Miss Parker? Happy Easter. Um, Happy Easter. I thought she was giving us some more jewels. <laughs> yes, he is good all the time. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm looking at my phone and my computer. I probably like what's on her, her eyes cross-eyed. Four hundred dollars. Woo! She said she just purchased the Epson for four hundred dollars. Woo! I paid a hundred for mine. And then you still got sublimated over, Sheila. I mean, do you got converted still? That's the one you talking about. You got this one back here, or you got the one, the real sublimation printer? Oh, she said she did get the Epson sublimation printer for four hundred. So that's not bad then, if you got the real one. I have the Heat Press Nation. I love Heat Press Nation. They're expensive, but they are they got good customer service. I got the 16 by 20 slide out, and then I got the 15 by 15. That was my first one. I just was being cheap just because I didn't like the this crafting thing. But I went right and got the 16 by 24. It was my Christmas gift for me last year. The thing was expensive. But I love it. It's, it's Uh, I need to take a nap, y'all. I guess I won't be taking a nap tonight. Because I need to get up. I need to start. I'm going to go ahead and start. If I go to sleep now, I ain't going to get up. It's too late now. I need to. I want to. I can't. I'm so excited about doing these, uh, this sewing. Sewing these bumpies, whatever. But I still need to know how to do the bumpies, though. The bumpies is more prettier. They got the high waist bumpies for the babies. Those are so cute. Oh my god, they're so cute, cute. But I'm so scared, scared. Dog, a thousand dollars. Okay, she said Anita just said she purchased the Epson ET for nine hundred dollars, ninety nine for almost a thousand dollars. How big do that print? How does how big do that print? And is that a sublimation printer? Yes, I'm using a um, pattern. Um, where I do with the pattern? I just had it. Yeah, I use, I'm using the pattern. I already cut everything out. I'm ready to sew it, start sewing. I'm already cut the. I already cut it out. Where I do it? I'm ready. I cut my pattern out. I'm mean, gonna cut everything out, and I'm ready to start sewing, honey. As soon as y'all get me off this live. Now, I'm not about to do this on, I'm not, I don't even about to sew on the lock. I got to concentrate on this thing. I got to be focused. Put all my focus on these. These are so cute, these little flowers. You know, they turned inside out because I'm got to sew it that way. But I can't wait, but I want to make, I can't wait. She said, oh, snap. She, yeah, she ready. She is ready. I, I, I want to um, learn how to do the short shorts, like with the, with the legs to them. Like these got little, these just diaper covers. I want to learn how to do the shorts. So that's my next pattern i'm looking for is the shorts so i can at least get some get some instead of little, oh, shorts. and then i'm gonna get them bumpies and then i'm gonna get them um them um the, 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 the bumpies and the um i want somebody to teach me how to do the bumpies i need somebody to just come and do a one-on-one -on -one with me i will pay you i'm gonna do the bumpies so y'all can just watch me like charmaine no do it this way we could do a live man I want to do it so bad. And I only need somebody to talk to me through it because I'm watching these YouTube videos. I can learn anything else on YouTube. I can learn anything else on YouTube. But when it comes to sewing, I I mean, I just learned how to do these on YouTube. But it took me a minute to figure it out. But and then plus I had to ask the paper person, the lady and you, um, the, the lady in um, Hobby Lobby was like, hi, Charmaine. <laughs> yeah, they know my name. So she told me some, she told me some techniques or whatever. So that was helpful. And then tomorrow on Monday, she's going to bring me a free pattern. They love me at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> No, Joanne Fabric. She's gonna bring me a free prep fabric on something on, on, on some more of these kind of shorts or whatever. Oh, they love me. Bumpies. Oh my god, look them up. She said, What's bumpies? 
Look them up. Look up baby bumpies. Let me see if I can put them on computer. They are so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. Let me show you. Let me go on Etsy. When I see them, I'm like, let me, let me get y'all my phone. Let me get y'all back some. Y'all too close. Y'all too close. Um, let me show you a picture of me. Hold on. Bummies. Bummies. I was like, I was like, am I saying it right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I said bumpies. Y'all know I can jack up something. Don't can't, don't y'all. I'm gonna show you how the bumpies look. You probably know what it bumpies. Bumpies or bummies? Bummies. I'm still jacking it up. Let me see. I'm about to show y'all. They are so cute, but it's it's knit fabric. Then you basically gotta make sure the cuffs and stuff is right. I'm scared that you gotta overlap the the little leg parts of it, whatever you want to call them. I'm I'm I've just learned how to sew y'all. I don't know all this stuff, the exact terminations for all this stuff. Um bummies. Why is it not on here? It just, it's, it's hard because I got it. When it when it comes to doubling up fabric and all this, like this right here is easy. This is two pieces. But then I got to, you got to double up this part for the leg part and then the high waist part. That looks so intimidating to me. I'm scared because I don't want nothing to be one lopsided, one other. Mm. But they are so freaking cute. Yeah, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. It's like I got these little panty things. Little, little, look at this, y'all. Look. No, that's not the cute one. Let me find a cute, cute one I seen. They are so cute. Hold on, I'm sorry. Y'all in my face again. Get y'all back some. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Hold on, let me just show y'all. Hold on, let me get this out the way. Let me see the, the cute, cute one. Is That was okay. That just gives you a little idea of it, but let me see how this one look with this. Look at that pattern. I want to do it so bad. Please teach me. No, that's not it. That's not the cute, cute. That's okay. But, um,. That's, that whole outfit is slamming. That's cute. So I want to make something like that. That's cute. But I'm going to show y'all the real one. The one I was like, oh my God. Becky, look at her. No. <laughs> oh, let's see. This is cute too. Look at that. Oh my. I'll just be on here looking at these little baby clothes. Like, I want to know how to do this. I want to know how to do this with the hairband to go to it. Oh my God. That's cute. What is that? A, oh, that's a, that's a, let me see. I want to do all this, y'all. Look at that. That is so cute cute the color is not cute though but um i'm kind of different when it comes to um where's the one i've seen that it's like a this is oh my god look at this i'm sorry i'm just all on people you look at that they look like um I, this is it, it, uh, it's intimidated it, i'm imitated by this high waist and i'm imitated i'm intimidated by like get because you got to basically double these up you got to double these patterns up. I got the pattern everything. I got the pattern right under my table. I just scared to do it. Cause it's knit fabric and it's stretch and I'm scored. I'm so scored. Where's the one I'm seeing? That looks really, really cute. And whatever, these are all bump, bummies. But it was one I seen, look at that. See, I like it. I like the way it look on the kid. You gotta look at it on the, on the, on the baby to make them, to see how cute it looks. It's this high waist. That's too high, but it's cute though. <laughs> but it's so it, it's like a high waist, uh, like like a grown folk outfit. <laughs> too cute. But yeah, this is what they are. But um, I want to show y'all. Y'all want to see my site? And y'all just gonna go? How about I'm mean, gonna have 135 people on here right now? Y'all want to just go ahead and motivate me? I'm about to show y'all my site. If y'all can just go like the site for me. That would motivate me. Like, oh, I got some likes on my site and I ain't even opened it up yet. But it's about the, this is this the one I think it was cute. This is so cute, y'all. Look at that. With the headband. That is so, and it's almost the same as what I'm doing, but it's just a high, you got to basically attach this piece. This is extra fabric right here. Extra fabric down here, I believe. They don't look like it, but it is. It's just scary because of that extra fabric you got to add on to this piece right here. That I'm, this is the piece I'm using right here. I got that part right here. This is what I got right here. But then you still got to add this and you got to add this. That's what I'm scared of. Look at that headband. That's cute too. I don't know how to do all that. Okay. So yeah, that's what I want to learn. Somebody want to teach me? Why is that on here? Oh, I spilled the wrong. I'm about to take y'all to my site, y'all. I'm going to show y'all what I got done already. And if y'all love me, hey, Ray. 
It's a ray of sunshine on Etsy. I have, um, this is my boutique that I'm about to start open. Oh, oh, that's right. It was 2020 because they didn't have this. They had to put 2020, which is the birth year, the year she was born. Look at it, y'all. Look, this is my, my new boutique. It's not lounge yet. It's not out. I mean, I'm not together yet because I don't have my machine yet, and I'm scared. I don't want to open it until I got it. But look at the little the little pillows I put on here already. I did this. I mocked this up on um on um place it. Look at the little pretty old background. I, I did this on place it. Ain't they cute, y'all? And little brodery brodery um pillows. I can make these embroidery pillows. They're my baby name, Araya. Little mermaids. Ain't they cute? So if y'all if y'all love me, go to Array of Sunshine and just like it for me. Like my page. Array of Sunshine. And like I said, it's going to be... I didn't want to bring you out here yet until I really get everything on here. But the only thing I got on here right now is these two things. I took pictures of everything. I just didn't um, do it yet because I got to make sure my description and stuff is good. But yeah, this is for my baby. Here's my story. Y'all can read my story if y'all want to. It basically came from my, 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 my granddaughter. And this is the um, Ray stands for remembering Araya every day, but her middle name was her middle name is Nicole Ray. Uh, uh, uh. I just got a sale on Etsy. Thank you. Um, so yeah, this is my my new my new my new baby my new boutique. I got my um my logo done on Fiverr, so check Fiverr out Fiverr.com. They did my logo, my baby angel. So check Fiverr out. Let me show y'all this one. Ain't these pillows so cute? Oh, look at the baby. I'm going to get more on here. Different races and stuff. But I'll just put these up here. But check. Go ahead and like my... Go ahead. If you, if you don't... Uh, tonight, if you get a chance, go ahead and like um my Etsy page. I didn't want to show y'all this, but I was just so excited, so geeked up. So I don't got, I don't have any likes. <laughs> so I just, I just did this. I just put these pillows over here a couple days ago. I did have people coming in looking at this stuff, but nobody, you know, liked it because I'm brand new. I don't have nothing on here. <laughs> but I got my description. I got my policy. Everything all on here. Everything is together. I just gotta upload the stuff. But I just haven't been having time because I've been making these things right here. Thank you. She said she just liked it. Thank you. Yay, look. <laughs> I got three hearts. <laughs> oh, y'all really do love me. But yeah, but I'm going to get some more stuff out there. Yeah, I'm going to get some more stuff. Um, Like I said, a rate of sunshine 2020. That's the year she was born. She would have been one this year. And I'm making everything, I'm making the clothes for the babies here on earth because she cannot wear them. And I'm keeping her, her name alive. And I'm also going to have a lot of different memorial things. Like somebody, if somebody left, lost a baby or something, they can have, I'm going to have memorial stuff like sublimation, um, like key change with the baby face on or the year, the month the baby was born. I'm also going to have the blankets with the, the, the all that stuff, that memorial stuff for babies. If you, if you ever, if a baby was, um, passed away with seeds or like her, she was, um, um, her, Ah, my her daughter, my daughter placenta, placenta ripped. So that's how, and she only had a week to go. She only had a week to go. So um, anything like that, I'm gonna have stuff. Um, helping people that just grieving, and keep her name alive. Araya Nicole Ray, that's her name. I got six likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Somebody on my Etsy page, my other Etsy page, Charming Gal, Charming Gal Boutique too. I see somebody liking my stuff on Charming Gal Boutique too. Thank y'all. I see it's popping up on my phone. I appreciate y'all. Why y'all got me on this live and I'm supposed to be taking my nap? I should have 160 likes on my uh <laughs> on my Etsy page. Because I'm supposed to be asleep. Y'all got me on here. I'm hungry and I'm tired. Thank you.
Thank you, Stephanie. She's just favorite my shop. Y'all, y'all in the Charming Gab Boutique shop. Y'all not on the um, but y'all can y'all can favorite that one too though. But can y'all go to this one? Oh, I got eight. This one right here, a ray of sunshine. Twenty twenty. I see eight. I see eight. I see eight. Yay! I got 134 people on here. Can I get 134? <laughs> I'm just saying. Now, this is, like I said, this is for, I'm doing this for a cause, like my granddaughter. Like I said, I bought all this stuff for her, all this embroidery machines and sewing machines to, to sew for her. So now I can't sew for her. I'm, 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 I'm going to sew something for somebody else. And I'm, I'm enjoying learning how to do it. I'm, learn, I'm enjoying how to learn how to sew. And I, I bet she's proud of her granny. That's my story. My baby angel. Oh, I got 11. I want this. Let me see something. Oh, I can't do that. Now, Rebecca, did you just like my, my page? Because I'm wondering, will my phone show up? Oh, you, okay, cool. So Nita just like the, okay, thank you, Nita. Okay, so I was just wondering, so like my phone, I was just wondering how Etsy worked because I have two, now since I have two Etsy pages, that's why I wanted to ask people, I don't know if he, who, who has more than one Etsy shop. I know that I had to log off of it, log out of my computer, but now I'm happy that I, I can see that because somebody just liked this page and I'm not even logged in on my phone through that page. I'm just logged on to my other one. So that's cool to know that I can get alerts on both Etsy pages. So that's cool through my phone without me logging in and logging out. That's how I was scared about it. I was like, man, what if I get a sale on my other account and I'm not logged into it, will they still notify me? But now I see that y'all are liking it, so I see it on my phone and I'm not even logged in on this one on my phone. So that's cool to know. That's good to know that they both in my phone. Oh, you know why? I think they're going through my email. It's probably going through my email. I got two different emails for them. But yeah, that's why I was scared to do it. I was like, I hope I don't miss sales because I'm not logged in on it into the site. Who has more than one Etsy page? One more, one more, one more than one Etsy shop. Who has more than one? I appreciate y'all liking my. That, that motivates me. Y'all gonna make me cry. What you mean is higher on your end? It's, she said you can't find it. It's called a ray of sunshine, twenty twenty. Yes, yeah, why I said somebody said you can't they can't do it now because they're on live. I, I I understand. <laughs> why are you refusing? I like Etsy because Etsy really um somebody said they refuse to use Etsy. Um I like it because at the end of the year, like for instance, when when for my daycare business I have to go through a lot of stuff as far as getting my taxes and stuff done, but Etsy take care of everything. And I don't gotta worry about doing all that stuff at the end of the year. Etsy do everything. That's one thing I like about it, because then I ain't gotta do as much as I had to do. With um, my other websites, you gotta you ain't they calculate everything for you. I like it, but I was <clears throat> thinking about going to Spotify, but I was like, I must well just stick with Etsy because I already know about Etsy, and I really didn't feel like really researching a lot to get to figure out stop Spotify because I'm used to Etsy. I've been on Etsy for like a year now. I'm used to it. People say it's too expensive. I don't think it's not. It's not that bad. Like if you have a regular, if you have a regular website, it's hard for people to find you. But if you go on Etsy and search something. And, and they they can I could be found quicker because of stuff that I make. But if you got a, a if you got a website, it's gonna be so hard to get that website out. You know what I'm saying? People just don't go to your website. But people people just go to web, to Etsy. Okay, that's the reason why I like Etsy because this brand is is out there. I mean, people know about Etsy and they shop on Etsy. So you put the right keywords in there, they'll find me. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. She said I can set up both of them on my. But what about the not the computer? I think I, you know what, I think I did do it right on my, on my phone, but I don't think I did it. I mean, on my computer, I got to log out of mine and log in on mine. How can I figure out how to do it without logging in and logging out on my computer? That's what I'm, yeah, I'm scared about that, Serena. Yeah, Serena. That's what I'm scared, because I can't, yes, that's what I'm scared about, but I just start, yeah, because basically you can't have all them characters. I was, I wanted to have Batman on my page. I wanted to have all that stuff on my page. 
but I can't do that because they can shut me down. You know what I'm saying? So I'm scared about that's what I'm. And then because I, I make a lot of patches, and people love them character patches. So yeah, that's the one. That's the reason why I'm going to Spotify because of that main reason. Because I don't want to get shut down because of having them character. Um, the characters. You know, kids love that stuff for their birthday parties and stuff, and they shut they shut you down. But and then I, I do a lot of stuff for the um teens and stuff, Steelers and stuff, and Lakers and stuff, and that stuff you can get shut down for that. That's the reason why I was going to go to Spotify. But I'm just, I just. I'm just starting telling people that I can inbox me. I mean, I, I can do other stuff and just can't post it. I was going to say, I can do whatever you want. Just inbox me. <laughs> Trying to be sneaky. Like, I'll be selling them Uno gangs on on, um, on Etsy. But I had to put one. I can't put Uno. I had to put one. Because they'll shut you down. To the trademark. Yes, they will. But I'm trying to do good because I'm going to get shut down. If I get shut down, it's got to go somewhere else. <laughs> but that's a lot of work, though. Like, it's, putting this stuff on it's just a lot of work. Yes, honey, yes. She's chosen by Erica. Um, I know life getting away. A lot of things happen. But that's what keeps me focused. It's, it's, it's crafting. I don't do nothing. I mean, I really don't have a life outside of crafting. And it's not people say, oh, I feel bad for you. I'm sad. No, I love it. I love, I love it. I love being at home and, and making new things. I don't have to go out. I mean, I like to eat, go out, and eat dinner. But I don't have to. Be, I, I don't have to be out there. When, but it's about to get hot outside. Like tomorrow, I'm gonna ride my bike. I'm gonna ride my bike tomorrow though, cause it's gonna be 70 degrees out here tomorrow. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be on that bike. I got me a spider, a three wheel motorcycle. I can't wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna drive to my mama's house. When I'm on my spider, it's gonna be a beautiful day for it tomorrow. So yeah, I'm gonna be out here after I get my after the weather break. I'm gonna be it's gonna be a little bit less crafting for me. Cause I'm gonna be on my bike. <laughs> but other than that, nothing else taking me from crafting except for my son and my bike. <laughs> yes, crafting make me happy, and my bike make me happy too. Cause that that wind therapy, oh my god, it's amazing. Like you never know that the right driving a motorcycle will make you. Oh my god, it's just like oh, it's a breath of fresh air. But I got I'm on three wheels and it's still good. It just it's just, just amazing. So yeah, crafting my son and my bike. I I'm in love with all three of those. My daughter too, but she don't live here with me, so I love her too. But she's not here. I work. I mean, I got a full. I mean, I own a daycare center, so I work. I open up in the morning, so I open up. I only work from seven thirty to eleven thirty, so I got a good schedule. I got a full-time job, but I work part-time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make sure everything good, I leave. I work from 7.30, 11.30, unless I'm needed. And I'm able to craft the rest of the day, honey. The rest of the day. After I take my nap. I did change my mind. Yeah, I told you. She said that. I was supposed to go to Chicago this weekend. My cousin was like, let's go to Chicago. And I said, okay. And I said, I don't want, I made up an excuse of why I couldn't go. But if really I really wouldn't go because I want to finish. I want to finish my samples and stuff for my my own. I didn't want to leave home. I needed to finish the stuff up for my boutique. Yeah, she said her husband don't feel her her, her husband don't understand about her craft. That's why I ain't got no man. <laughs> That's why I'm single. Cause all my time go in with with cricket. Cricket is my man. He presses my man. <laughs> man. That's why, I, that's why I'm single. And I'm enjoying my life, so it's cool. I am fine with it. <laughs> I, know, I know why you laughing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, in, I'm enjoying my single life. I'm 42. Back in the day, I wanted to be in a relationship, but now I'm good. I'm, I'm in my, set in my own ways. And I like to craft, and I'm on my own. I don't want to be like ask, answering for nobody. Where you at? What are you doing? Let's go. No, I don't want to go. I want to stay home. I want to craft. I don't want to go with you. I don't want to go. I want to stay home. No, I'm still up because I'm crafting. That's why. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you right now. I'm crafting. I don't want to watch a movie right now. I'm crafting. I don't want to talk. That's why I'm single. <laughs> I don't feel like cooking right now because I'm crafting. <laughs> I don't have quality time. I'm crafting.
I'm just reading what y'all saying. <laughs> uh, yep, I, I enjoy my, like I said, I go, I love going to town, so I might, but I have been out of town for, where I went to, where I, went, where I go, Las Vegas, the last time, place I went, that was, did I go to Las Vegas this year? I went to Las, I went somewhere for Christmas, where did I go for Christmas? I went to Florida for Christmas, that was the last time I've been out of town, was, I went to Florida for Christmas. And that was the last time. Usually, I be out of town every two, every other month. But I'm going to Jamaica in August, and I'm supposed to be going to um. Where I'm supposed to be going? Jamaica in August and somewhere else. Girl, I don't know. I love going out of town. I love traveling, but um, I've been, and I love to ride my bike. And I was, like I said, I was going to go, that's when to get away and go to Chicago this weekend for the holiday. Because I like to go out of town on the holiday. I don't like to be at home for the holiday. So, like I said, I went, I went to Florida on, on Christmas, Miami. It was so nice. I like the way how Miami has everything opened up now. You know how the strip, they have the streets and stuff open now. Before it was all crowded and stuff. And it's now it's, the streets is open since the pandemic. And it's so much better just instead of being all crowded on top of each other. It's open. So... That was my first time going since they had that, the streets and stuff open. Just really cool. But yeah, the last time I went, and then I went to Las Vegas before the end. I went to Las Vegas last year before I went to Florida. So I, I love the, I love the um, travel. I love it. She said she missed the sip, the sipping live, the sipping live last night. That one last night, that was the night before, I think. But y'all was acting real funny, like real goofy, drinking that wine, relaxed, fun, just having fun, being loud. Oh, ooh, Lord, why I gotta be so loud? Girl, calm down. Calm your butt down. Ooh, Puerto Rico. I've never been to Mexico. I wanna go to Mexico. I wanna go to Africa. And I wanna go to a lot of different, I wanna do a lot. I mean, I wanna go to Hawaii. I've been in a lot of places though. I've been to a lot of different places, a lot of different states. I've been to a couple, about three cruises in one year. When I, I went on a cruise two years ago for the first time in January, and then I did another one in June, and then another one in December. Cruises are the bomb. You get, get to go to different different um, places. I love it. I love going on cruises. So yeah, I went to, on three cruises two years ago. One in January, one for my birthday in June, and one for Christmas. I took, my, I took my son on a cruise on Christmas. I'm like, he was nine years old going on a cruise. But it was so much fun. Oh, yeah, I want to go to Ghana, too. I love Las Vegas. Oh, you a flight attendant? Hook me up. <laughs> my uncle's a flight attendant. He flew. He was a flight attendant at American Airlines. He just retired. My uncle just retired. He's from San Diego. I mean, he lives in San Diego. I went, to, oh my God, I can't tell you because I didn't been so many. The first cruise I went, it was just a little small one it was for the Bahamas. That was in, that was right after New Year's. We went on, a, it was like the January 3rd through the 4th, just the weekend. That was the Bahamas. I've been to so many. Then the second cruise, we went on like four different places. I can't remember where it was. I can't, I know, I can't remember. So many, I went to 40 places. That's when, and it was hurricane season. So we had to stay on the boat for like three extra days. <laughs> it was so fun. I was like, she was all scared. Like, it's a hurricane out there. And you out there in the middle of the ocean? I'm like, I'm chilling. <laughs> <laughs> but they gonna keep us safe. That's why they. That's why you're on the boat still. But we had to stay for. I think it was three extra days. It was so nice, and it was so nice. Oh my god, it was so peaceful. Oh my god, and I can't tell y'all where I went because I can't remember. I got my passport, but there's so many different, so many different places I went. And then I went another one for Christmas. We went, I went to Mexico for Christmas, but one Puerto Rico it was something else. It was it was a Mexico. For, my son went with me that time. Went to Mexico, and then we went to uh, some two others, two other ones, two other islands. I can't remember, but I've been to a lot. I got it on my passport. I can't remember, though. I can't, I can't remember. I've been to Jamaica before already, but I'm going to Jamaica again this year. I love Jamaica, and I love Las Vegas. I can go to Vegas every, every month. I like I like Miami, too, though. No, I thought I'm going to get seasick. I thought I was. I would have got seasick because um I'm really, I'm really bad with car rides and plane rides and everything, but I take drama me. When you're on a boat, you cannot, you don't even know you're on a boat unless you're looking at the water. Like, I, every time I go on a cruise, I got to be on the balcony, okay? 
I love it. The balcony, I had to get a balcony. And I never got sick watching, I never got sick on my balcony, but I would get sick on the plane. But I never got sick on the, plane, on the boat because when you on the plate on the boat, you can't feel like, it's, it's like a big old hotel. You know, you know you move unless it's like it's really bad turbulence or whatever, whatever it's called, big waves. But you can never know, you, you never know you're on a boat unless you're looking at your balcony. And I thought I was gonna get seasick by looking at the water, but I didn't. I just get sick when it, when it's like motion, when it's like moving like that, but I didn't get sick at all on the boat. But I got sick on the first time. Me and my daughter went to um, Disney World when she was like 10. She was so embarrassed because I was early and all over the place. She's like, Mom, are you serious? <laughs> and I didn't know, I didn't know no such thing as drama me back then. And then my, my uncle, she, he a flight attendant. He's like, Charmaine, get some drama me and you'll be okay after you get the drama me. So on the way back home from, from leaving San Diego or California, from um, going to Disney World, Disneyland, whatever, one in California, he said, get some drama me. So I took that and I was fine. My daughter was so embarrassed. But you would never know. If you could not, you would not get sick on that plant, on that boat. You would never know you're on a boat. It's so nice. And then you get all the food for free. Oh my God. I said, who do I travel with? <laughs> um, I would travel with my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> My ex boyfriend, then my like I said, but now if I like I'm this when we go to Jamaica, I'm going to um it's a girls trip, and then um what was I say yeah we going to Jamaica for it's a girls trip, but I'm going somewhere else this year though. We going dang where am I going? We supposed to pick look we supposed to be going to pick a pan for the flight right now, and I forgot where I was supposed to be going. Let me think. That's a dang going shame. Where is I supposed to be? Look, where is I supposed to be going? Where am I supposed to be going? Girl, in my mind, I'm hungry. Put make it paying for the flights to go to oh <laughs> Florida to Disney World. This is thing I be getting mixed up with everyone in Florida for um for my son's birthday because my cousin her son's birthday is in, in they both in May, so we supposed to be going there in May. Florida. I forgot that quick because the tickets are real cheap right now. So we supposed to get them yesterday and I forgot. Yeah, I went I crowned for a cruise. I went to crowning for a cruise twice, and then I went on the other cruise um once. And that cruise, them cruise ships are so big, they bigger than Carnival. I can't think of the name of the cruise ship. The other one. I went to Turkey Caicos, yep. I went dang, I went to I went to um Bahamas. I went to Oh, I can't think of the name. If y'all say them, I can tell y'all. But girl, I can't think right now where I went. Damn, I'm trying. I can I can picture them. I can picture the items. I can picture the I, um the items in my head, but I can't think of the names of them. I think I went to. No, I didn't go to the Bermuda Triangles. Girl, I don't know. I'm about to get off this live. Usually, I never want to leave y'all. But I got, I got these on my mind. I got these on my mind. <laughs> I want to do these. <laughs> I want to get to someone. I love y'all, though. But I want to go. Yeah, we should meet in Vegas. That would be fun. That would be fun. I wanted, I wanted to do a meetup. I was going to do one last year. Then, then the pandemic started, so I couldn't do it. We was going to meet up in Atlanta. I love Atlanta, too. I love their food. Oh my gosh. And I was gonna do a cruise too. I was gonna do a cruise for the um meetup. That would have been nice too. But um back then I was a, I was a travel agent back then. I was yeah, I was a travel agent, but I stopped doing that because they didn't pay me my money. Um no, you not about to sew. I cannot sew with y'all because I would jack up the whole panty. <laughs> the whole diaper cover. The whole panties. I cannot sew while y'all on here. I need to I be I need to be focused. Focus, focus. Um She's my don't go. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm going. Yeah, I wanna I do wanna meet up here. I wanna meet up. Like I said, I got the, um I, I got a group on Facebook and we were supposed to meet up to do a um we supposed to do a, like a um conference. I was supposed to do like a conference thing together and have a ladies' night, have you know, get together and all that kind of stuff. But like I said, COVID stopped that. But we could we could we could plan. Somebody help me plan it, we can go somewhere. We could do something. Um, meet up and stuff. Eat eat good. Craft a little bit. Bring a little stuff. Bring your little gadgets with you. You know, Cricket got little stuff now. You got a little iron, little heat press, little heat mug. You bring every which. Come on, we can craft together. Probably have like a sipping, sipping paint. Right, my granny panties. Right, <laughs> that's what these look like. I jack these things up. 
This is my first one. And I, my crazy butt sold on elastic. Knowing you ain't put sold on elastic, but I did it anyway because she told me to. She trying to jack me up. She ain't going to be good. She ain't going to be great. And I did this one. This one look oh, halfway decent until you turn around and see. Ah! I don't know what the heck I was doing. I was trying to stitch the... <laughs> You're like, you supposed to... You ain't supposed to be stitching the garment. You're supposed to be stitching the dang on stuff. The elastic. So I don't know what the heck I was doing. I was getting frustrated. And I just said, forget it. <laughs> so these look kind of cute. Until you but then the elastic was extra thick. They was like, the girl at you, um, Hobby Lobby, she's like, why you use that thick elastic? I'm like, I don't know. So you going to tear up the little baby legs. They ain't going to be able to breathe. <laughs> she's like, get some thinner elastic. I said, okay. So yeah, this one, this one looked halfway decent when it was it's far away. Look, it looked cute, but huh? Don't it look cute far away? I like the way the little the little pink bias tape tape, you know, bring it out a little bit. But then when you bring it up front front, eh, you could be like, ah, ah, and this one right here. Oh, she did that. Oh, she did that. Oh, the third try is the charm, honey. I got it together. I got it together. So now I'm about to go do some more, cause I got. It. Get y'all off the get y'all off the live first. Y'all gotta go. Usually I be wanting to be on here all night, but I got something to do. I got something to do, do. I gotta go check out this little. I just Miss Parker, Miss Parker, you still? Oh, here she go. There she go. I want to say you still here, Miss Parker. <laughs> She's still here. She just told me to told me something I need to go check on. <laughs> she said yes, yes, I'm here. What's, what's Serenity say? Let me see. Oh, come to Philly. You know what? Have I been to Philly? I've never been to Philly. I, I want to. I want to go to Philly. Um, I ain't never been to Philly. I've been everywhere else. I've been to, I just went to, I went to um, Texas. Um, I've been to Memphis. I mean, I've been every, I've been to a lot of different states in the last five years. I've been out, just gone, just traveling. But I ain't never been to Philly. I've been to New York. I've been to New York one time because I went to a book fair. No, I went to New York twice to, to the Harlem Book Fair. Oh, I love it. I went because I have, was selling books back then. And I took my books to the Harlem Book Fair twice. I, I, um, And I sold out both times. Oh, I love it. It was so, the Harlem Book Fair is so nice. I loved it. I went for that weekend for the Harlem Book Fair. And it was just amazing. Like the crowd was amazing. The food was amazing. Yes, I love New York. I went there twice. Where else? Let me know. Tell me where y'all from and tell you if I went there. Have I been? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? So I can let y'all know if I've been to where you at. Are oh, you in Harlem? You go to the Harlem Book Fair, Serenity? I've been to the Harlem Book Fair twice and I went to have my books and I, oh my God, it was so nice. I love the atmosphere. I love it. I've been to Pittsburgh. Oh, Pittsburgh's pretty. I've been there. I went to a game down there. In the stadium, it's beautiful, and then they got the water down there. And I'm thinking, I think that's Pittsburgh, right? They have the water. It's so pretty downtown. Where else? Who else? Where else? What's in M? I've been to Washington. Y'all know I had to go to Washington. To the, I went to the Black History Museum. I've been to Washington like twice. I took my son to go see the um, when the monument was there for Martin Luther King Monument when that first came out. And then I went to the Black History Museum like two months, probably about, about a year ago. You know, I've been to Florida. I've been to Florida a couple of times. I've never been to Louisville. I've been to Texas. I, I've been to Canada. I've been to Canada when I was a kid. I went to the, um, the Niagara Falls, but I want to do Canada again. I was thinking about going to Canada last year to go to, um, to the, the cabins or whatever, whatever it's called. The, um, I think it was the cabins. Oh, you know I've been to Atlanta. I drive to Atlanta. Take about 12, 10, nine hours to get to um, Atlanta. I love going to Atlanta. I was just there last year. My uncle stay in Atlanta. I will get to meet you soon. Hubby from Toledo. Okay, Miss Miss Parker. Okay, Miss Parker. She said her husband is from Toledo. Yes, please come. I want to meet you. Um. Okay, that's in Mexico. Okay, nope. I never been to Mexico. I never been to Maryland. I've been to California. I've been to San Diego. I love California. Um, my took my daughter. We when we went to uh when I got sick on the plane, we went to to the whatever New Disney World, Disneyland. I get them mixed up. Whatever one we went there, they went to San Diego. Then we was going on the strip. You know, with all the what's it called? 
what's the name of that um street where all the shops and stuff is that Rede redemo that would are whatever that street is all the shops up he's like she just wanted to see she's like mom wanna see beyonce so the whole time we did she trying to find beyonce i'm like girl beyonce ain't out here on these streets she ain't out here in these streets Rodeo, what's the name of the yeah rodeo 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 drive me and my daughter she was like 10 years old we went we went to california but i've been there my, my brother he lived in arizona so we drove from arizona to california like like two christmases ago then we went from arizona to las vegas so we did drive only four hours so we did both of those drives i've been around i've been around Ooh, santa barbara I don't think I've never been to Santa Barbara. How how far are you are you from San Diego? From Santa Barbara. Disneyland, yeah, Disneyland. Cause I began like Disney World, Disneyland, which one? So you yeah, went to Disneyland. My first time on a plane, and my daughter was like, "Ma, are you kidding me? Are you serious? Are you really throwing up?" I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> Oh, I was so sick. I was, then it was it was crazy because somebody could have kidnapped my my daughter in the middle of the dog on airport because we got to the airport. I was so weak. I, I couldn't even move. I said, Shane, I was like, Shayla, just I was just, I was in the, I was like here like this. Like, Shayla, please go find me some, some verners or some seven up or something. So she had to go search the dog on <laughs> She had to go search the airport for something for me to drink because I was so I didn't have no fluids in my body. I would just toe up. So I was like, go find me some ferns or something. Find something for me. So she came back with my drink. <laughs> Cause I was done. So she was, she was like 11 years old, walking around the airport by herself, trying to find her, get her mama will. I'm like, Shayla, you saved your mama. Cause you, oh my, you know how you feel when you, your stomach is just like upset and you just, I was towed up on that plane the whole time. I just wanted to cry. I was like, I just want to get off of this plane. And then we sat in the back of the plane too. It was horrible. First time flying, it was the worst. Now I use Ink X Pro, but I use, I mean, Cosmo Ink is cool too, but he always sell out. So I always, I go to Ink X Pro. They on, you, they on, um, yeah, uh, Amazon. They good. They, you know, this, this ink is the same to me. <laughs> you cracking up? Yeah, I was toe up. Yeah, I, it was horrible. My daughter saved my life. Said, Mama, remember you when you do a saw sick on the airport and I had to go find something? Somebody could have kidnapped me, Ma. I'm like, you're right, Shayla, but you're here and I'm glad that nobody got you. Because I sure was worried about it when she was gone. I was like, please let my baby come back to me, Lord, please. But I need that, I need that seven up, I need that sprite, because I'm gonna die. <laughs> I need something on my stomach. Because the only thing that set on my stomach is Verner's or something like that. And she had to go find something for me. And I still was walking around like looking like a crazy woman. I didn't have no energy. She said, make a double ribbon tutu. I wish I could. I'm not doing that tonight now. I'm going to stick with the little little booty, the little boot, whatever these things. I can't do that double ribbon tutu stuff. Because that that um, that um yard, they said you got to have five yards of uh, tutu. That right there, that scared me. So you got to five, five yards tutu for, for a tutu? That seemed like a lot. Look. <laughs> five yards of anything seemed like a lot. <laughs> now, I just, now I just take Benadryl. I mean, I don't take Benadryl. I take the, um, what's it called? Drama mean. I take drama mean. Drama mean is fine. I take one before I get on the plane, and I'm good. I'm good. I'm not gonna take drama mean. Somebody else, cause I get car sick too. When people driving crazy, I mean, people drive. I cannot be a. Well, my cousin. Every time I get in the car, my cousin, I get sick. Like girl. So I'm. I get car sick too. Just on certain people when people drive crazy. I'm a bad passenger driver. Let me, just get out. Let me drive. Thank you, Serenity. In him. What time is it, y'all? Y'all get on my nerves. It's 10 o'clock. Now nah, I can't take my nap for real, for real. I might just, no, I might just stand alive. No, I'm just playing. I'm about to go. I gotta give me something to eat. I don't know what I'm gonna eat, y'all. What should I eat? I ain't cooking. Cause I ain't got no man to cook for. No, I'm just playing. I ain't gotta cook. I can go eat them. <laughs> I have some spaghetti. I was going, I was supposed to make spaghetti. And I didn't. I'm not gonna probably throw the meat away because it's probably been in the refrigerator for too long. <laughs> I don't have time. I be just doing too. I be crafting. I'm like, up. Oh, I guess I gotta go eat to out tonight. Guess I gotta go get something to eat. From. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go to Frickers. I think I'm gonna get something from Frickers, or do I wanna go to? Oh, it's ten o'clock. What's open? What's today? Today. Mm. I 
Oh, I never used the patches before. I always take that peel. And then the peel, the peel make you drowsy. Make me drowsy. But you know, as soon as I got the plan, I go into the hotel and go to sleep for about an hour or two. And then I get out and kick it. She, all right, I'm about to pour your glass. You about to, Jasmine, what you about to sow, Jasmine? All my new subscribe, all my newbies, did y'all subscribe to my channel? All my newbies, did y'all subscribe to my channel? Hit that red bell to be notified when I upload new videos, huh, T? Please subscribe to the channel before y'all leave me. Because if when y'all do, y'all able to um see everything that I um do. I, guess, um, I mean, y'all know when I'm about to go live and stuff like that. And I appreciate the 17 people that like my page, my new um, Etsy page is about to be open as soon as I get um, the stuff uploaded, which will be, I'm going to give it to next week. Hey, thank you, thank you. New bummies for my daughter. Are you about to make some new? Now, come on now, Jasmine. We about to do a 101. Why are you playing? Now, you know I've been talking about I want to do the bummies. Now, we got to do a 101 live on Facebook Live, and we can go ahead and do them together. Now, you know I just said I wanted somebody to do a one-on-one -on -one with me on these bummies. And you about to make one in my face? Oh, you going to do me like that? She going to tell me she about to make some bummies. And you know I've been trying to get it. I'm trying to learn how to make them. What? You serious about what? Oh, my nose running. No, I can. You, who you talking about? You talking to Jasmine or talking to me? <laughs> I'm not about to put no ruffles on there yet. I gotta figure out how to put the dog on uh, highways on there first before I do the ruffles. <laughs> I want to do something just. Okay, you serious, Jasmine? What time is it where you at? I'm about to go. I'm about to get off this live, and I'm about to um. I'm about to have Jasmine teach me how to do these bumpy, so I can be like, I did it, I did it, I. Oh, that's, that's kind of corny. I. Nah, that's kind of corny too. <laughs> I know it's okay. Well, teach me then. If they' so easy, I'm about to Facebook. Is your name Jasmine Rose on Facebook? Oh, it's ten o'clock. That's what time. It's it's on. Oh, it's ten thirty. What time is it here? Oh, it was the same. Yeah, Florida, we got the same time. Time, friends. Time. You doing what now? Z. Okay, y'all. Oh, I still got 100 people on this live. Yes, ma'am. Okay, your name is... I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to inbox you, Jasmine Rose. From Florida, I'm trying to tell you all your business. I'm sorry, <laughs> we're still here. I'm about to inbox you. So you're gonna, we're gonna do this video. You're gonna do this live. We're gonna do this one on one bummy real quick, real quick. <laughs> if you help me, oh my God, I'll be your best best friend. I'll be your best friend. Just my best friend. What you doing right now, Z? You say you're doing something right now. She said, girl, join Jasmine. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you know I am. So I let y'all go. I'm about to go. About to get, and Jasmine, don't be playing with me, Jasmine. Don't be playing. Don't be setting me up, Jasmine. Don't be playing with me, 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 Jasmine. I'm serious. Oh, congratulations. She said she won a, a, a embroidery machine. Why you, why you, what you say? And you haven't, oh, you haven't used it, girl. Choosing by Erica. Everybody say, Erica, you better get that, that thing out and start. You won one, you got it for free, and you ain't used it? What is it? What kind you got cho um, cho chosen by Erica? I don't know why you don't get notified, um, Serena. Everybody said they was getting notified today. I don't know why she didn't get notified, but good night. Have a good night. No, I'm not doing no live. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one with me and Jasmine because I don't want to be jacking up in front of everybody. I'm gonna be able to show Jasmine how I jack up. I mean, as long as she tell me like step by step how she how she pin those things together, the waist the waistband and then the other the, the leg parts, I'll be cool. As long as I, I got to get that, that's all I need, and I'll be good. I'll be cool. Let me just do one. Give me thirty minutes of your time, Jasmine. 
and I will be cool. She said, you give, her, give, her, give me a minute. I got to get my wine. Erica, you better go on and watch your YouTube and get, get that. Bed. You got to get her wine. Oh, cool. Oh, I never heard of Avengers Limited Edition. Girl, brother is off the hook. Girl, oh my God. Let me come in here. Let me, let me use it. Let me use that machine for you, Erica. How many needles? Is it? I mean, it's a single needle. But, um, girl, I never heard that. Avengers Limited. I want to use it. Bring it over here. I'll show you how to use it. I use it for you. Right. Thank you, Z. Promise to teach us what? Serenity, promise to teach you what? Oh, how to do the bummies at the at the Jasmine? Show me how to do it. Okay, Jasmine. I'm about to get my fabric cut. And then I'm a Facebook, you lie. I'm a Facebook of your uh, messenger, okay, Jasmine? Where you at? She said she closer. <laughs> Y'all really trying to get that? <laughs> Y'all funny. <laughs> Girl, you better open that thing up. I'm telling you, tomorrow, you better inbox me and say, you opened it. Girl, you missing all the fun. You didn't show this to my with mines. You tripping, tripping. Oh, she getting threatened for real. Y'all stop threatening her. That's enough. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> yeah. Y'all yeah, funny. Okay, she said she there. Jasmine gonna help me. This is my happy dance. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> yes, yes, get it open. <laughs> I don't know why it's trying to hide your let me see hide your message it just probably says <laughs> okay y'all I'm so sorry but I gotta go I gotta go so I can get this fabric cut so Jas Jasmine I wrote her name down too so I can make sure I'm about to go about to go get her so we can do this and I'm gonna see me tomorrow and I'm gonna be like look what I did y'all and I'm going to say it's all because of Jasmine because she's my best friend. She's my best friend. She's my best friend. Yeah. You better get that thing open. I'm telling you. There's so much stuff you can do with this dang on the embroidery machine. You got it sitting in the closet. You know how many people are looking for them things right now? <laughs> how many people up there looking for them on, on, on YouTube and Facebook trying to find them things? You got one in the closet? Girl, you tripping, tripping. People out here looking, looking for them things like crack. You got one sitting in the closet. Free. You ain't pay for it. You ain't using it. <laughs> Girl, let me come over there. Let me come get it. I'm not something else. What? <laughs> yeah, them things expensive right now. Them things ain't no joke. They everybody trying to find them things. Looking with looking looking for you with their flashlight on. Yes, they are. So machines. Well, so machines is cool now to get, but everything is high. Okay, I got Jasmine waiting on me. I'm about to go cut my fabric. And I'm about to go live on it. Um, on, and I'm going to show y'all tomorrow what she taught me, okay? Because she's my best friend. She's my best friend. Bye, y'all. Have fun. I got to go. Have a good Easter. Bye-bye. See you next time. Subscribe. How about I get out of here? Y'all don't want me to go, do y'all? <laughs>